Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, now. Do, 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 do. Okay, so flame blast and stash. Do not get RNG. Otherwise, it should be a nice run. I still feel like this run is faster than DD, by the way. As weird as that is. It just ends early enough that DD doesn't overtake it. Not that it matters too much. I would probably play this even if it was slightly slower than DD, just because it's something else. And it gives me an excuse to do a DD run later to compare it to walk, you know? Not the best start. Okay, chat. What do I need to buy at level four? I never remember on which. I think you get flame ball. So what you need to buy is holy flame totem. That's it. I think it's just that, right? Because you don't get War Banner like Templar does. I'm gonna equip the body armor for Matlots. I don't know, you tell us. All the runs like blend together, so I never remember what I do on Vage, what I do on Templar. That's what happens when you play like a lot of different stuff. Technically an upgrade. If I can actually use the sniper's mark, I don't know if you have the decks for it. It's a little scary. Also, oh, your magma orb. Kind of wanna kill these because I committed so much damage to them. I wasn't too bad actually. I got level four. I was decent much less honestly. I played it really safe, more more safer than I needed to, but uh, it got past. Didn't click Caspit. Yeah, I will respect into Caspit later. I don't think you ever want to click Caspid early. Caspid early is kind of trolling because um, you just don't have any damage increases. Like your only damage increase comes from those few points at the start, right? on that power extra light blue pack okay ignited hell right that's good and a blue pack okay triple blue that's huge Okay, now we clean the inventory. Flame wall, frost blank. Sell everything. Farewell. Trap. Uh, flame totem. Pixel run. You go there. 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 Uh, frost blank. There, sure. I 
I don't know if I have to check this. I'm gonna YOLO and assume it's up here. I don't know if that's correct assumption. Uh, it actually was, but it probably connected anyway, so it didn't matter. Uh, Holy Flame Totem. I don't know why I first blinked there. Okay, that was decent so far. Do you keep track of the wands during the round or just sockets? Uh, I switched to shield in library so I can start shield charging. I don't need that wand. Going walk and flame blast, yeah. Oh, I need that. Gimme, give gimme. Give Trying to not obvious my flasks. Because I feel like I always mess up in... Much. Hello seven, that's pretty good. They're doing good on XP. Like a decent run so far. Oh, transmute, okay. Am I on the right filter? Okay, good. It's my best time for Act 1. I have no idea. Probably like, like with everything done lately, like 18 minutes probably. I don't know. Act 1 doesn't really matter. I think most of the time it's just around 20 minutes. 19, 21, 20. That was a little close. Rare boots? This is my MS. How is how do they never have MS man? <laughs> the amount of rare boots I ID without MS is like insane. <laughs> I don't know man. The game's hard. Pick up on MS boots, surely. One day. One day. But 
but today is not that day. Um, I feel like I should spike the Dex and Strength Note just to actually get the Sniper Smart because I feel like it's kind of impactful for Brutus. Should be more damage than Flame Volker. Never have it here. I don't know how much it actually does. Should be to the right, somewhere here. Come on, thank you. Nice farling for Arma Krima. You can use a lot of links, which is why it's good. It's like five to six support gems for both of the skills. And you just use whatever's whatever colors you have available. I think the best links for Karima is Immolate, Ellie Focus, and then one random link. Doesn't really matter which one. For Arma Brand, I think it's Combustion, Ignite, Prolif, and probably like Cruelty. Champ is like okay. Um, Conk effect can be okay. Or Krima, that is, obviously. Um, there's more, but I forgot what the other stuff was. You don't need GMP, it's just if you have a green socket. Oh, Fire Pen is decent too on Krima. Because you only really use it on single target. How long for new season? Uh, it starts on March 28th, I think, so about two weeks. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah. Okay, rare boots, no way we miss again. Oh my god, we missed again. Never lucky, man. Oh, am I never lucky? Yeah, it's really good though, with some boys. No, give me the shrine! No, thank you. I hate... Why did they add tar to this zone, man? I guess the idea was that. That uh, what we need in Act 1 is more ways to slow player characters. I almost died there. Probably Mark's idea. Tar since 2014. I thought there was time where there wasn't Tar. Am I wrong on that? I feel like it like was there, then it was removed, then it got re-added. Mm, 
Mm, I don't have a quick sort of flask. That was a bad flame dash. There's like no way to not get frozen when you flame dash like that. Yeah, there was one more zone, I think, in here, but I never played when there was one extra zone. Just heard about it. I don't even know what it's called, or what it was called. Okay, what do we need? Um... Sapphire Ring, maybe? I don't really need so far rank. Am I on DX12? I honestly don't remember. I keep switching. I feel like it doesn't actually matter though. The bell so far rank. Didn't Chamber of Sins have like three tiers or something? And same for like Solaris. I always hear these like old stories of people saying how many more campaign zones there used to be. I think it's gonna be this way. Never a mess, man. Oh, this is wrong. I thought I was just following the water, man, so I assumed it would be correct. It's not. This is dead end. I don't understand this layout. I might. I feel like this whole thing might be a dead end. Please don't be. Okay, it's not. I was a little scared there. <laughs> Oh. Next act rework is act 3. Nah, they stopped with the act reworks. They realized it's kind of a waste of time and players don't like it, so they just stopped. It's like, they would probably keep continuing if players like their act reworks, if I had to guess. But like, it's not actually gonna make more people try out PoE1 campaign realistically. So it was probably just like a huge waste of resources. Not that they were doing like huge changes to the axe, but... Like the early game of uh, PoE is already difficult enough. Why does Witch feel so much weaker than Templar? I feel like he did no damage. Okay, okay, okay. Two rare boots. Okay. I was gonna actually molt, but thankfully we got it. And decent colors too. It's actually huge. I was like pre molding in my head already, and then I ID'd it, and it's fine. So lucky. Okay, there's no way you call that lucky. Come on. Okay. 
Okay, we have one alteration. Do we need more? Killing more mobs. You really shouldn't be killing more mobs than me. I'm already overkilling mobs. Like, I should be killing less than I am. much is that? Eh, it's pretty okay. Could I mess with some molding? Am I? <laughs> Not. I'm pretty happy now. How much costs gems? I mean... Act 2 gems are 1 LT each. Act 1 gems are... Well, level 1, level 4 are wisdom. Level 8 and 12 are transmute. Or do you mean just like... Remember how many you actually need to buy? I don't remember that because it's always different on Witch versus Templar, so I always always mess them up. Is the cost basically until level four wisdom above that transmute? To level 12 gems, level 16 to 24 is alteration, and then uh, that's a lot. I'm gonna loot that. And then level 28, 34 is chance orbs. Level uh, level 38 alchemies. I mean, it doesn't always line up with the act, but close enough, I guess. I guess it's only Act 3 that's weird. Am I close to 16? Kinda close. Um, I think that means it's this way. Kind of defense you get, evasion. I mean, you get some armor, some evasion. How do you know you are all killing? Should you match the level of the zone? No. So the, the rule, the golden rule, is you get full XP if you are within three levels of the zone, increased by one level every 16 zones. Sorry, every 16 like zone levels. So what that means is that you want to be within three levels of the zone until zone level 16, then it's four levels, until 32, then it's five levels, etc. Right? Usually what that means is most people, like, I don't know, most people overlevel compared to that rule. So you just try to be slightly under the level of the zone. I, I feel like that way you can't really make a big mistake. You definitely, the second you are like the same level as the zone level, you are definitely killing a little too much. But on like leak start, I definitely wouldn't worry about it. I think I'm going the wrong way again. I'm on the wrong side of the... Yeah. Compared to zone level. Not... I mean, it compares... Your character level to the zone level. That's how you gain XP. I think I need that ruby rank actually.
I need two wisdoms here, I think. Or sorry, two alterations. I need wave of conviction and I want skitterbots. Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. Probably should have noticed that earlier. I think that 16 roll is based on zone level, but it really doesn't matter too much. So we want to buy Wave of Conviction. And we want to buy Skitter Boats here. Wave of Conviction Skitterbots. They crawled them. I mean, overleveling is fine. You really shouldn't, like... If you are not speedrunning, I feel like you shouldn't worry about overleveling. If anything, you should aim to be overleveled. It's like no reason to try to push it. The game feels so much better when you actually level like zone level or even like one or two levels above. Especially on a caster, but even on melee, like. Because that usually will mean that you have better gear, better sockets, better everything, right? I should have went back there and grabbed the loot. So SR is the fastest uh, minion to either Exarch. Um, probably. It's not real minion builds to rush, right? I mean, if you were doing the cheat thing where you mule lab gems, maybe maybe Bama is faster. But if you actually have to farm the Bama gem, then obviously not. I mean, I don't think SRS is particularly fast, it's just I don't think minions really have another option. Solution, I really- oh, actually, Dumblo might be the fastest, now that I think about it. I haven't played it in a while, but it definitely used to be the fastest before Guardian rework. Also, Pac likes Herald of Agony, don't question it. <laughs> I don't know if he would actually say it's fast though. He likes it for like Axe speedruns. I don't know if it's actually good for like Exarch runs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to go help Alira now. Oh, yeah, I mean, listen, Dumblo on bosses is bad, but Dumblo for mapping actually can feel pretty decent. Until you run into something that makes it not fun. Uh, I just forgot that we cannot go there yet. Oops. Not bad. I completely spaced out. I, I, I should really try to get consistent pathing in active. 
I always just do whatever I feel like doing. I mean, it's not whatever I feel like doing, it's kind of based on XP, but still. Why is he so tanky, man? He's dying. Depends. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to buff. What I usually do is I do Kraten into Oak, into Alira, into Beaver. But if you don't have enough XP to be 16 at Kraten that way, it's better to do Beaver first. And then come back. At least that's how I've been doing it. I don't think it actually matters too much how you buff your act too. As long as you don't do like unnecessary stuff somehow. Like I did there. Because I forgot that I didn't kill Oak. Like, it would be so much better to actually have the Alira resist here. In, uh, in the zone, because it's kind of rippy, right? Or can be. That would have been a good way to die, and to prove my point. I don't know if you can actually kill this. Can you kill that essence? Einhard, please, work. Sometimes you don't get the essence when it's in a beast. If we got it there. Scouring? I, I do want that. I don't know if it's a long backtrack. Um, shield? Shield sucks, Saddler. This might be a dead end. Oh no, it continues, we could. Was the trick to ruin square? Ruin square. Doesn't it only have one layout? In both Act 5 and Act 10? Most of like Act 5 and Act 10 is very static, it doesn't really have layout generation. That's the wrong way. Okay, we go here. We have a portal ready. Could have just went through waypoint. It might have honestly been faster just because of how close Alira was. <coughs> Chat daily reminder to check out YouTube. I posted some videos yesterday and I will try to start posting on there regularly again as the new league is coming out so there's actually some incentive to do so but if you haven't seen that make sure to check it out no I don't think so listen if you don't want to check it out don't check it out that's fine Okay, so we have two alterations, six transmutes, we don't really need much more.
Is it here? It is here. Nice. No clickbait face thumbnails. I could actually turn on cam since I actually shaved yesterday. So I now look like a human again. Did I figured out the age hack? Okay, you guys ready? Every few months you just shave and suddenly you look five years younger. It's so good. Okay, no, it's not a few months. It was like three weeks, but still. I feel like five years younger right there. <clears throat> it's that easy, man. It's that easy. The man to baby face. I don't think it's baby face, but I definitely look younger without uh, without beard. That's for sure, by quite a bit. You don't wanna you look younger. That means you're too young. Listen, at some point of your life, all you wanna be is younger. I feel like I'm already close to arriving to that stage. The receptionist the other day asked if you're under 18. Did I, I got ID checked like two years ago. And it made me, it actually made me happy. You know how like when you are like 19, 20, you are like, oh, you ID checking me, that's so annoying. When you are 27 or whatever I was two years ago. They're like, yo, thanks for that compliment, dude. <laughs> it's insane. And been checked since 16. Only on airports. You are 30. I'm not even 30 now. How could I be 32 years ago? What do you mean? You are older than 30? I'm not. Actually not. I am 29 and I will be 30 in January. So I won't be 30 in 2024. You know what's the best part? You guys make fun of me for being 30 next year. I can just send you over to Junkrum because he turns 30 like two weeks later. So I'm just gonna save all the annoying uh, streamers 30 comments Lamal, to post to Junk right afterwards. I thought he 23. <laughs> I mean, his hairstyle might suggest that, but no. This is 29. It's like February, kid. I don't know when exactly. Um, I think that means it's this way. Not 100% sure. This looks correct. There she is. My, work in My mom was asked for an ID check no more than five years ago at a nightclub. She is 51. Yo, you got a number? Sounds like someone who aged really well.
Yeah, I'll get the trappings for the raid. How was your stream? Aren't you supposed to be flying to LA or something? Less than 24 hours. Enjoy. Big start this thing. Um, just doing level 90 runs on a bunch of builds. It's not really leak start testing, but it's just a little bit of fun. Trying to entertain myself in the two weeks before new league. Uh, I think this means it's to the left. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now I'm sure. More like warm up. I mean, I don't know. It's just... Um, it's not really leak start test, right? But it's still representative to a certain point to see how the builds do. So it's good enough. And it feels like the runs are worth doing. So those falling gloves could be good. What is the event about? PoE2. From my understanding, it's purely a PoE2 event for both PoE and non-PoE content creators. I don't think I can use these colors. I mean, technically I could. I could use Combustion and just use this as Cremation colors. I have... how many crumbs do I have left? Hold up. I have two crumbs. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna send it. That's probably the better better colors. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um do I use the essence? I think I do, because what else am I gonna use greed essence on? This has to be the best usage. Like low level gloves. Ah, oh, that was a good layout. Patch notes 21st? Yeah, patch notes are with announcement always. Nowadays, so yeah, it should be 21st. I feel like there's a chance they nerf Bull Lightning Totem, if that's what you are thinking. Not a high chance, but chance. Yes, Hatch, thanks for the sub. In craft resist there. What's my resist actually? Oh, it's really good. Like really, really good. Occultist buff? I would not expect an occultist buff, honestly. Doesn't mean it's... Sh I mean, you, you could buff occultist slightly, for sure, but I don't... I wouldn't expect one. I'm not... Like checking for transmute, I don't really need more. I have nine transmutes. I need alterations now, so I need to start IDing stuff. And I was trying to, you know, bait some interactions on Twitter the other day. And some people were really upset when I was like, oh, why would you ever play Glad? Why is there still 0.3%? People are like, oh, I play this because it's fun. Have you ever heard playing this game for fun? Like, I wasn't actually being serious. I don't even think Glad is that bad. It's just there's no reason to play it. Which I guess makes it bad, but like, it has some things going for it, right? It just doesn't have enough things. That some say that bad. <laughs> yeah, kinda. But I mean, if you play like SC trade, God is still very, very much good enough. I think bleed bow is honestly like a fine build. I might do a bleed bow run. It's not like a good build, but I think it's fine. I don't think a bleed bow run would be much slower than uh, the other runs. Unironically. I feel like it would be like 8 hour level 90 or so. I hate snipe, but 
You have to use it. It's not really an option. Uh, I probably should have grabbed a four link. Why am I full clearing dogs, man? Help! Find the item, please. Maybe we got it. I need some freeling weapon. Does Clarissa have one? Um, could it? That's I know it's a tooling, but it's good enough. Stay out of the Level thirty. I can't even equip it. Planning on doing a bum around, maybe if I get bored. I'm not really a big on the minion league start. I feel like the minion league start is so overhyped. Like the guardian just falls off the like uh, minion guardian. I don't mean the ascendancy. Uh... People sometimes mule templar for wage to get elipro a little earlier and get extra vendor check. I've done it before. It's gonna be a dead end. Ready to run van? Just look at the Pathfinder run I did and uh, pretend it's slightly worse. Uh, I'm lost. I think it's gonna be down here, but... Definitely getting lost here. Um... Maybe I just settle for two blue. Two blue is like pretty bad on a one though. And I guess I can just craft on this one and then recraft it later, it's fine. Two B one R. I guess that's not that good, actually. Okay, uh, clean my inventory, do the crabs, play the game. Pathfinder was a poison peak hunk, yeah. I mean, you can also play TR on Raider, right? League Star, but. Like, both of those bots are just better on uh, Pathfinder. I was supposed to do the crafts, I forgot. I don't know, I just went on an autopilot. Um, I will get the Imperial Gardens trial and then do it. Is it all the way down here, really? Okay, this, this is actually better to look out anyways.
need that shield. 29. I'm close enough to 29. Okay, let's do the crafts. Um, And then we go back to Imperial Gardens, we do the library. I might have to wait till... I'm gonna loot that. Uh, do I just Dexter this on that? Sure. Didn't hit move speed trip. I might have to wait till 29 to switch to shield charge, just because of the color issue. But I thought it made more sense to use this shield, which it still does, honestly. It's 9 ms space. Wait, is it down here? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, like I had to check. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Does this continue? Where am I supposed to be going? I am so lost, man. Somehow I didn't find Siosa. What the? That has never happened to me before. Can you run library without finding Siosa? Huh? Oh no, it's there. I see now. I'm just still, still in the first part. Oops, I missed read this. That was a bad zone. But it didn't actually connect anywhere else. It's just I ran into like two extra dead ends. Yeah, it is a long library. Even if you were to run it correctly, it was really long. I don't know this zone enough because I don't really run it. I mean, nowadays I feel like I've been running it more, but... Yeah, you always have to go past that. That's why I was so confused. That I didn't see it for so long. That was some bad stuff there. Not optimal run. There's also going to be a lot of dead ends. So I see two. Okay, we actually see them all. That's not too bad then. Probably could have run this better with less backtrack. I need more alterations. Actually, quite a lot more alterations even. Okay, let's see how much we forget here. Oh, fire pen. Haste. Shield charge. Faster attacks. Determination. Grace. Other age. I don't have desecrate yet. Rip. Uh, I probably should have gotten desecrate first. That's fine. 
Paste the uh, there. Question is Hold up, I'm thinking. Sorry. Sorry for the brain lag. Yeah, I don't need a sniper's mark, I know that. So that can go now. I don't need skitter bots. Where are my skitter bots? They're probably in helmet. Need one more level for shield charge, that's fine. We're just gonna work out fine. Um so I need uh, alteration. I use blood rage now. Need an alteration for desecrate and for a bunch of support gems on my cremation. Probably need two, three alterations actually. There's no way I get three alterations here. How do we get enough? The free shards. I can buy one alteration. Actually. I don't know if that's worth buying. It might be. What are these zones, man? Do you get to have health and mana numbers? It's a setting in... You just go to settings and there's like show health and mana numbers or whatever. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it's a default setting in PoE that you can just turn on. Okay, who called that drop? Someone was like, one drop and you're fine. The person was definitely right. Fighter, can you stop running, please? Where are you even running? It seems like an upgrade. I did an ID a bunch of it. Whoops, I brain locked there. I definitely brain locked. Whoops. It's fine. Oh, that's a bigger problem. Be 
I didn't even consider that as an option. Um, I think these boots need to be recolored eventually. God damn, this run is kinda scuffed, man. How do I get the haste then? I don't think I can. Also, I did not expect that. Well, you should be faced. Oh my god. That was the sketchiest thing ever. When the time comes to strike, an emperor strikes with one defiles the effigy to enter the defiles the emperor's mother. Hmm. Turns so scuffed. Also due to skill issues. I should only have to be done once as a quality of life change, true. Okay, we got a chance orb at least. Need two greens. 
It might be kinda hard to get. Did not get any crumbs, that's not good. Uh, Elementalis, Ascend, Bam Bam. It's a lot of wisdoms at least. How's this gear all bad? to pick up chrome items i mean i meant to i just skipped one um be careful gloves or boots yellow these are okay if i grab them as i guess They most definitely should not do any of what you just suggested. Ah, uh, crumbs, 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 we need crumbs. Or can we get to? Hates QL and also hates new players. Nah, I only hate. <laughs> I don't hate QL. I don't hate new players. It depends on what the QL is. If the QL includes removing all crafting methods from the game just to be able to trade like one obscure thing, no, I don't like QL. If I could choose for the Veiled Orb to not be tradable, I would. The more I, about, the more I think about it, the worse it gets. Too late. Uh, thanks, Jenebu. Thank you so much. This is all your fault. Yeah, it's so unnecessary to delete Vel Orbs or Vel Chaos. We could have just made a new currency. Feels so weird. I don't know why that change happened. I guess I can use Determination since I don't have the sockets for haste. Do I need a strength from my belt? So bad. Oh, I love the cheat on the ground. Rip. 110? Oh my god, this run is doomed. Can we reset? I 
think this is the slowest I've been in a while. Oh my god, my keybinds are so cursed too. Alex, don't watch. Yeah, Dan, what do you think of Ben's set take on the... On the Veldorfs? There's no way Ben is right. I refuse. He cannot be right. If he's right, it's doomed. It's just dooming. I know. He literally cannot be right. What did he even say? He said something about 2%. Okay, that's what Ben said. There is no way 2% is right. I know it's not. I think the best conclusion of the Discord conversation we had is that the drop rate is somewhere between 2 and 100%. And I think that was a serious conclusion of that. Take on Veldkir's change. I talked about it in a YouTube video for quite a while, but TLDR is... Uh, don't like it. I mean... Don't think it's a good change. Five percent wouldn't even be unreasonable. I think five percent would make Veld or cost like eight div each. But the biggest problem I had is the whole meta crafting stuff, where you have to do, you have to spend like four div, and you miss the. After you miss once, every try gets more expensive than the first try. And that part just sucks. Just a miss, yeah. Probably just Katarina. Um, probably if you have test of loyalty, you can probably get a Katarina every I don't know seven to eight missions. If you don't care at all about who is who is where. I mean, sure, but it's still... If the drop rate is like 5%, the price is going to be high, even if a lot of people farm it. I am very much hoping it's going to be 20%. Whether that's correct or not, different question. Cope? A little bit, but I don't think it's like an overcope. I feel like 20% is like, it's the higher end of reasonable, in my opinion. Oh yeah, if they are rare, people, people definitely try to buy them out and inflate the price. Because it's so much easier to control than actual Ashlings, right? I don't know, the, how bad that change is depends on on the rarity of it. But, I mean, overall I think it's a crafting nerf regardless of how you look at it. 
Like crafting is just gonna be more expensive, period. It might be more convenient, but it is gonna be way more expensive. I mean, yeah, if they rework Betrayal completely, then it could be different, that's true. Kinda doubt we're getting like a huge rework, but maybe. Who knows? If it doesn't respect meta mods, I mean, if it doesn't respect meta mods, then crafting is like, god damn it, man. So you know what's the saddest part about Rachel? Somehow ultimatum is worse. I thought ultimatum was really good, really? I hate the new ultimatum. So boring. When you don't get mo loot from mobs. If the I mean, it's not bad profit wise, it's just boring. And the profit is kind of boring too. It's just catalysts and uh, selling child masters, right? Did you enjoy really ultimatum and farming quarry? No, because if you... On release, Harbor Bridge was like 10 times better than quarry. <laughs> yeah, but the Inscribe ultimatum prices are fake, right? They're only high because of challenges. Like, there's a chance that's just not there next week. Wait a second, isn't that a good rank? It's actually pretty good. Let's get chilled till now. Although they made him feel better if it was not for affliction, I don't think so. I don't think ultimatum and affliction are really correlated. You don't get that much like currency from ultimatum. I did a little bit of them, not a lot, to be fair. Like, it's more okay in Trade League. Fire. 
In essence, I've ultimate them feels like you get bad. Ultimate Doom is just so hard. Ultimate Doom is pretty hard. Honestly, for the rewards. My brain leveling looks like so much fun. Yeah. Even on the 200th playthrough, it's still fun. to nerf brands and buff TS. We're buffing TS again. Why do we buff TS every patch? Stop it. Yeah, I need to start leveling the Valplane Bust. Uh, five? I'm missing one. It's the one that I missed in this act, right? And I'm really curious about how Valder related stuff is gonna look next patch. There's gonna be so much less of it. We are cupped for after Kitava. Oh yeah, you get like no Valdos without a map. I ran out of mana, man. Should have just TP'd out. Could have been faster. Sanctum affected by a map? No? Unless you mean like Sanctum gets worse because MF exists, but... Running MF gear in Sanctum doesn't do anything. Oh, like the books? Uh, I guess to a certain point, yeah, that's true. But I don't think it's uh, linear. You don't get... Like, you get more books, but... 
I don't think you just get like five times more bolts like everything else. Man, why is this run so bad? I mean, I didn't have sockets for like most of Act 3. So that doesn't help. And do I swap? Um, after Act 10. I hate my issues, man. Is the true Why? Are you so Mana management while well, leveling is like the worst thing, man. It's so hard, even when you are like relatively comfortable. I can't imagine how it is for like, you know, casuals. It must be fucking misery. Better than Ignite for Love. You have Zelda, right? Yeah, of course. But even then, EP and Jars. I mean, you cannot really be EP at this point. I mean, there's ways to deal with mana, it's just none of them is available early, right? Casuals had free mana flask, no quick silver. Is that true? Is that true? It might honestly be true. Guess what you could do is you could run one less aura. Actually, the true casuals probably run Vitality. Sorry, not Vitality, Clarity. Not even trolling. That's a good belt. Really good build, actually. And our flowers should be enduring. Mana flowers should be enduring by default. I think that's the only way to actually make people use them. Like I don't understand why they nerfed. Well, okay, I do understand why they nerfed enduring mana flowers, but because there wasn't a reason to use anything else, kinda. But I also feel like that should be the default behavior of mana flasks. That way, people would actually not feel awful using them at least early on. I 
can apply this to many things. No, I feel like uh, Flask, like, not being able to cast your skills is a different problem than, like, something being bad. Like, if you are 10% MS Silver, it doesn't actually change the game. But, like, when you actually cannot cast your skills, like, that thing feels awful. That's why it's different. Yeah, I know sometimes the level one is better. I don't disagree. Some flowers are better than others, that's true. You know what will fix it, chat? Unironically, though. PoE2. <laughs> like, it actually does fix it. Or at least it attempts to fix it. I guess we don't know if it's gonna work properly. Any blood magic giga chats? I feel like they should buff blood magic. They should take the Warlock node and just put it on uh, on Blood Magic Keystone. Call it a day. Maybe 30% instead of 50, but... Make it clickable? No. You should reward people for being in the worst part of the skill tree, that's fine. What level am I? 39? Okay, I'm gonna kill a little extra. I need this. I don't think I'm gonna use it on a body armor though. Do I? That seems a little weird. I think I just use an alchemy and I hope it doesn't uh, roll live. Troll fucking life regen. I love this game. Isn't bone shit there? True. I'm gonna loot the conca pack. Did I ever get the Valflame Blast chat? I did, okay. Strength should give armor just like in last epoch. Okay, how much armor do you get in last epoch per strength? Isn't it like one or two? Oh, it's percentage. Wasn't it flat in the past? Change <laughs> True, actually. <laughs> True, then. I am down. That's a, that's a good suggestion.
This one actually somehow didn't end up being as bad as I thought it was. It's like the usual time. It's gonna be like 140 something. It felt so bad on Domino still, time wise. Bone Cheddar? Dude, my Bone Cheddar character was like 3 mil with everything gone. In the level 90 run, it was the highest DPS by far. All you need to do on Bone Cheddar to have damage is not click Jack. Is that easy? I'm not saying this just because Karn is in my chat, okay? I mean, let's be real, the Bone Cheddar run was the fastest, so, you know. It's more OP than DD of Chaining. So if someone is asking for DD of Chaining to get nerfed, Bone Cheddar should get nerfed by more. And we just don't do Ignite DD run, so we don't have a comparison. DDF chaining is so fun. I'm so surprised by that, man. I don't enjoy DDF chaining nearly as much as Ignite, but a lot of people enjoy it. Honestly, I, I have the solution, okay? Nerf Bone Zone, buff DD and TS. What if the nerf to bone zone is deal less damage if you ascend a juggernaut? Wait, that's already the default, never mind. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I like Jack, just not on League start. I mean, I play Jack Bones on like every League, pretty much. Whenever I wanna delve. But on League start, Slayer is just better. And I will stand by that. Okay, where can I craft rest? Hundred dollars sent to my PayPal? Holy! Wonder how much Ben would get if he said that. Ben does it for free. <laughs> I love that that is your fucking su su like resub notification. Just a random clip of Ben saying Slayer is better. I wonder if they're gonna touch Chaos Dot. No, they forgot Chaos Dot existed. And so should you. Keep forgetting about Blood Rage. I'm just gonna left click it. Yeah, call. Good gift. Thanks for gifting a sub to Karn. Uh. You snitch on Nimis and Bone Cheddar is fine. Okay, Nimis is the dumbest thing ever, man. How did Junkron get away with that one? I don't get it. Yeah, there. <laughs> Stuff to Ben. Uh, I'm sure Ben said thanks as well.
Do I have an empty suffix anywhere? I think my belt has empty suffix. Gifting subs to millionaire streamers. Listen, all we talked about in the Discord yesterday, outside of the drop rate of Veldor, is the taxes. So, if anyone was millionaire before, they are not anymore. It's over, man. Actually, my tax report was pretty good. I had to pay very little extra. I can't really complain too much. I'm like memeing about it, but I can't really complain too much. It was better than I expected. Excavating? No. It's not even warped to excavate. At least at my income level. Did you put MTX as business expenses? It's not really how it works for me. I don't track my expenses. Because it's inefficient. You can use like a... Basically you can claim that 60% of your income are expenses instead of tracking your expenses. And that is way better for me because there's no way I can make that much in expenses. Can streamers move? Yeah, just move. Like, forget anyone you know and just move and live alone in, like, Portugal. I mean, you can, unironically, but... It's just like, are you really- do you really want to do that? Move to Texas? I don't think NA is that good for streaming. One, the cost of living is high, and two, I don't think the taxes are that good in NA, even in, like, countries that don't have state tax. As far as I know, the best places to stream from is, like, Portugal. And Malta, if you can somehow get residents there, but... You have to have a lot of capital to get residents in Malta. Because you have to own a property there. Well, you have to... You have to be able to have, like, a living place there, or whatever the rules are. Yeah, I think some Asian countries would be really good for streaming as well. But I don't really want to live in a country that doesn't speak either Czech or English. I would maybe be okay with German, but that's probably where I draw the line. Uh, would I even be okay with German? I don't think I would, honestly. Uh, uh, maybe. Romania is like super OP for streaming actually. Isn't Singapore kinda expensive though? I don't know how expensive. Like I'm assuming it's more expensive than other Asian countries, but I don't know how, how expensive it is compared to like Western EU or NA. Singapore rent is LA rent, oh. Dubai would be best. I have no idea what the laws are out there. Say so the tax are kind of fucked. The thing is, for someone who is used to this cost of living, the cost of living in Romania is so low. And like, my cost of living is not even high, but... Stuff like food and uh, rent in Romania is so much low, so much lower. And it's probably not that cheap if you live in the capital, though. It's 
That's my build rage there. How is this whole thing a dead end? That's... It's actually wild. Again, it's not just a question of taxes, right? It's a combination of taxes and cost of living. And also, ideally knowing people there. Cause, I mean, I'm sure you can make, like, you can meet new people, but I mean... Just, uh, I don't really want to ma move to a place where I know literally no one. All you need is chat. <laughs> True. Just go to New Zealand. I don't think I could afford New Zealand, my man. Move to Zizz's house. This already has enough kids to take care of. He has his kid, he has cats, he has steel mage, like... <laughs> I don't think he needs more. What even is the tax situation in Belfast and cost of living? <laughs> I have no idea. It's probably like decent. Unless, otherwise this wouldn't be able to like convince everyone to move there. Kinda of surprised I, I didn't end up moving there. After being there for half a year. Must mean it's not that good. All I heard is that uh, Taita likes the NA ladies more than the, the British ladies. Or the UK ladies, I guess. Your server's too bad to speedrun. Yeah, that probably doesn't help either. There's definitely some people that would probably be pretty chill to live in like a streaming house. But I don't think anyone's ever organizing any of that, so I don't think any of that's ever gonna happen. Also, we are all all getting kinda old at this point, so there's also that. Do I do the... Do I do Twilight Strand? I didn't buy Chaos on Damage Taken. So I kinda have to. Move to Belfast, Steel is single. Still would probably be pretty chill to live with, honestly. Can't imagine Steel being an annoying roommate.
<laughs> Still retire? Yeah, dude, he retired for like a week or something. Daily five games delivery. <laughs> Why does that matter though? <laughs> Imagine trying to just eat your <laughs> uh. <laughs> I should be five guys. Imagine you stream all day, then you go to the kitchen and you just see Steelmage eating your dinner and you just despair. Still gets one guy, <laughs> not five guys, true actually. Dude, I haven't gotten one guy ever since Melon got permat. <laughs> you guys think that's coincidence? <laughs> and ban him? No, never. What did he do? Wait, I should have portal down. Whoops. Need to clean my inventory one sec. I'll do Twilight Strand after ranking, actually. I should have taken the other one. This was the wrong one. Whoops. What did he do is he did the behavior I hate the absolute most. Do you guys remember during Lake of Calandra how people were so proud of going to Steam and like downvoting PoE and being like, do not recommend this game and then like, we did it Reddit, PoE is now like overwhelmingly negative and shit like that. He was doing the same thing about last epoch and like encouraging it and stuff like that. I was just like, I see behave with this behavior, it's fucking annoying. I think that's like the worst thing you can do as a gamer. Like preying on downfall of others is just like, man, come on. Especially when Last Evil is actually a good game. Like you're only married for like downloading it is the fact that servers don't work. Like who cares? The servers are going to be fixed in two days. Okay, it took like a week, but the reasons were server issues. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't complain about the server issues, right? But like, downloading a game because servers don't work on launch is like weird to me. Like, very, very weird. Because it's like, it doesn't have anything to actually do with the game. I think I went the wrong way. Is it down here? Please be here, please be here, please be here. I don't know, I just don't like that behavior. And I even warned him like twice to stop and he didn't. I don't know, that, that stuff was so cringe during Glay of Calendra. And the worst part is like all these people who are like, oh, we did it Reddit, we made people, you know, look like, we made people look like it's bad. I bet they were fucking back the next week, just playing 12 hours a day again. You know? I, that, that for sure happened, let's be real. Classic overreact Andes, man. Like, was Lake a good patch? No? 
Because I don't think it was, but like, come on. They were in Fab Gun chat asking for MF build this league? True. What is so bad about Calandra? I was just like... I honestly wasn't anything that was like super super bad. It just was like a lot of factors combined to one, like, to like one thing. People are just outraged. It's like Arch Nemesis, the league itself was pretty bad. Uh, like the towels were too rare, the rewards for the league mechanic weren't that good. Uh, the... Some of the loots were nerfed, like Alva was nerfed I think and Breach. And then the whole got touch meme started too. When you had to like relook on the color and that I feel like but uh, that one I feel like was later. Oh yeah, the divine X swap too, harvest nerve. There there was like a lot at the same time. Like I don't think any of it by itself was enough, but it's just like when there's a lot of stuff combined, like everyone gets pissed about something and then like it like perpetuates the hate, right? Because it's like, oh, I'm annoyed by this, I'm annoyed by this, and then it's like, oh, we are all annoyed, let's complain. Yeah, but Expedition was similar reaction. I mean, and let's be real, everything that's nerf is bad reaction, right? Like, nerf equals bad. That's kind of just how video games work nowadays. Should it be like that? I don't think so, but... This is where we are. More like change equals bad. No, buffs are good. Nerfs are nerfs are bad. That's how it works. Like literally how it works. At least Lake of Calendar gave us one good thing. You guys know what was the most upvoted post by far during that league? It wasn't any of the people complaining about how dog shit the league was and how they want Harvest to be reverted or anything. The most upvoted post by far was the post that said Path of Map was banned. Something good came out of it. Uh. Oh, I think there's gonna be a lot of bitching next week. For sure. And regardless of how how the loot is gonna be next week, people are gonna be like, oh, loot nerf, Lamal, even if it didn't change, right? Because compared to Affliction, it's gonna feel real. Really bad for the people who are doing like end game affliction. But, um, I mean, so far the changes we have seen, people are not really excited. I think people are actually pretty okay with the flask nerfs, though, from what I've seen. Because, like, I think everyone agrees that, like, the end game Pathfinder was kind of out of line. So like, there's like a discussion whether it's a buff or nerf, but even the people who seem to think it was a nerf, like a huge nerf or whatever, seem to be kind of okay with it. Chieftain gets punished even more? Not really, it depends on how you look at it. If you build your Chieftain correctly around it, Chieftain actually got buffed the most. Because now Ruby Flask on Chieftain actually gives you mitigation against uh, Cold and Lightning. And you only need one flask. It's especially good if you are playing a two-handed chieftain for some reason. Like Fulcrum or... Um, like Slams or something. 
don't log after you clear it, wait, why not? I'm logging. You don't need to enter. There's definitely bows that got nerfed by it, don't get me wrong, but I think there's a decent amount of chieftain bows that didn't really get nerfed. If anything, they might have gotten buffed. It's the same with melding stuff. Like, there's some melding builds that got nerfed, some melding builds that got buffed. Especially early game. I don't think that's a big problem, Karn. Like, going for 90 res is pretty high investment, normally. You can go trader or you can just play Flagel and it's gonna be up while mapping. I mean, yeah, sure, but like keep in mind people were using like plus plus five max res or whatever on charms, right? This week to get 90. Like that might not be available. We don't know if that's gonna be available. He had some shit with tattoos, yeah, but... You don't know if it's still gonna be there, right? Like, some stuff is there, some stuff isn't there. I don't know, I feel like it's a pretty big buff to early game. Chieftain. I mean, it's probably... Overall, an endgame nerf for most builds. Because, like, Pen does exist in Delve, it does exist in Synthesis maps, it does exist on some Ubers. Especially Shaper. Fuck Shaper, man. Shaper balls are gonna hurt if you don't play, like, 4 Vow or something. But, uh... I don't think nerfing, er nerfing Endgame is, like, a big problem, honestly. It's a Nebulous buff, that's true. I said Nebulous needed one, but... Why Nebulous? Because you can get 90 Ulgres on like day 2. Day 1 even, maybe. Might be Sibakpa League. Might be a Chieftain League, if tempered by war. Yeah, then, are we flipping our the Mahuxodos? It's kind of true. He's omitting some details, but he's not wrong. They would say that basically almost nothing from... Affliction is making it to core game. Well, nothing that... That's not, that's not what they said, but a lot of... They've confirmed a lot of stuff isn't. Chaos spun on enemies. I think uh, Simulacrum has Chaos spun. Right? I think Simulacrum has it.
Yeah, I know it has Elipan, but I wasn't sure about Chaos Pan. I think uh, Breed Stones can roll Chaos Pan as well. Not 100% sure about that one. Not the mana issues, man. Stop. Thank god I had some unreserved mana there when I was swapping. Iron Delve boss is already pretty good in terms of loot, except the uh, Corkle. Like, Vile City boss is good, right? Um, Owl is decent, even good sometimes, depends on how much stuff is valued at the time. Alright, I keep forgetting that in softcore, the helmets for minions are actually worth quite a lot. I think 120 is a good good number for Adorn Toads, chat. Who agrees? I think at 120, it's still worth going for, but it's not just like auto-include on every build. Three hundred. <laughs> nah, I feel like it's really boring too. Like Adorn is when it's like the best choice for every build. Or they just make it so it doesn't work with implicits. Yeah, crafting the Joes for it is painful, that is true. How many League starters do you guys think will have adorned in the POBs? Do you just blacklist every content creator that puts adorn in its League Star POB? Roots anything up before patch notes. True. Blacklist and Icon indicated that just tell me to play Bone Shadow on League Start. Respectable. Nowadays, only safe working builds are this? I don't agree with that. There's a lot of good builds. It's gonna know where to look. 
And I think the most important part is not even what the build is, but what the build is suggested to be used for. And that is something that a lot of people ignore. Like, if you guys remember Well-Rounded Beast, if that build was literally just, this is a ZHP dog shit character that you, you should only boss on, it would be considered a good build, unironically. It wouldn't become a meme, because it was good for that. It was a good bossing build for Subcore. It could literally do all bosses on like day one. It's just like when you market it as a well-rounded beast, you look like a clown. That's it. Like if people were a little honest about it, on like saying where their build is good, then uh, a lot less people would get like would get shit on on leak starts. People have this feel that they need to say, oh, this build can do di this build is an all rounder, it can do anything. It can do bossing, mapping, delirium, you know, juice content, delve, everything. But like, that's just not the case usually. And if it is, you are limiting yourself a lot by doing that. Also, depends who the build is for, sure. And then there's people who just lie about how much grants the builds are worth. That's a good boot. My favorite part is like you can give you can get away with so much stuff. As long as you don't include Magebot. Like you can make a build that's more expensive than Magebot and people will think it's cheap because it doesn't use Magebot. Build value is fake because the prices jump up. That's kind of true. At least to a certain extent. Like, if you are if you make a good build, it's kind of hard for the build to not get more expensive. Mage build is the most expensive item in the game, though. I mean, that part doesn't matter. I mean, it's pretty expensive, right? But, well, not this week. But, uh, people just look at the Mage Blood build and they're like, lol, Mage Blood build. But if you just put in the rares that are worth, like, a lot, people won't even, like, complain because they can't really price it for themselves. It's kind of weird how it works. Or when people put in like the whole power charge stacking setup on a day one POB and then they like show POE ninja prices at like month four of Affliction League and they're like, yeah, this build is worth about 10 C. This league started. Like that is also more common than it should be. I need a recipe. Void Butter is pretty bad at League Star because apparently Void Butter, and I didn't know this, has a level requirement to drop. What's the last original sin? Did you guys know that? Because I didn't. Apparently, it's a uh, like it needs to be a item level eighty. Which explains why I didn't get it on my initial MFing when I was doing lower tier maps. The weary traveler draws close to the end's length. Um What item? Void butter. The power charge one? I don't know which other items have that requirement. I think uh, one of the swords has it. I don't remember the name, but it's like it's like some random ass like 
sword that no one has ever used. Sky 4 is different. Sky 4 is like 83 or 82 or 84. I think it's 84 eye level, so tier 15 plus map. Um, Brasdom used to have it. I don't know if it still does. The one everyone knows is Magebot. Yeah, Mage, obviously Magebot had under R75. Oh, Yoke is also higher level? I didn't know that. Did an HH H H lose requirement? No. Pretty sure no. I've seen a campaign had under screenshot. That sounds fake. My column was great again. I think if columns had thousand life, no one would use it. Sorry, no one but life stackers would use it. I think for a normal build is just not good enough. I think people would use it with 1k. Hmm. I just struggled to find builds that would do so. My AFK 5A build? True. True. That one would use it. I mean, losing 6 sockets is a lot. There are so few builds that can actually afford to lose 6 sockets. Uh, most rangers didn't... Didn't reach 90. Some high-end ones did. You see the blade trappers didn't use chest? That's true, actually. And splitting steel characters. Like, all the tricksters didn't. That's a fair point. Man, the leveling with Magi was so fun. Like, I actually had a reason to play Firestorm and it wasn't trolling. Just because you had so many empty sockets.
Yeah, the amulet was used a lot. It was niche, but when it was used, it was good, both for accuracy and for life. Literally, Dan used it. I know Gucci used it for accuracy on his tornado shot jug. That boat actually looked pretty nice. No, we won't get any borrowed power except every everyone will get a plus four projectiles at all times. That's the only borrowed power we're getting next week. The path DS needed. He is actually kinda sucks. I watched Leggy play it on League Start on day one and he switched back to LA. For like one more day or something. But it can't even be that good. Yeah, but day one is all that matters because after day one, everyone will quit because there's not enough loot. So TS equals bad next league. Unless loot is a good thing. I mean, I don't mind it personally. I think a leak like affliction is fun, but it never should become a norm. The problem is that people have a hard time resetting their brains. So it's hard for G GGG to do stuff like this. Isn't that like the justification on why they don't do flashbacks? It's because they would have to make them like more rewarding than the base game and then people couldn't reset before the new league. I feel like it's gonna be the same problem with uh, Affliction. Just do, a, just do a Lake of Calendra flashback every league. Why play PoE when you can heist? I have unironically considered just straight up league starting heist. And just sitting there for three days. Why? I don't have a good reason. I wish I did. The only reason I'm not doing it is because I think hardcore is too slow at pro, like providing I level 83 heists. Like I would have to like pay Well I would I would basically have to pay the people in the guild to spec into heist on the Atlas, that's it. Because those are the only people I would believe that would be able to provide it in time. Like I would have to convince like Ney, Ben, Gucci and whatnot to to spec into heist. To have a chance to get I love eighty three heists early. Because you need a lot since you don't wanna fully reveal anymore. 
Guild is like 50% hardcore trade. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, Gucci would definitely spike it. Gucci is a homie. No CP flask? No. I must look down there. No transmutes on Quicksilver. The reason I don't do it is because um, sometimes you break. Like, it's probably correct to do, especially when you get enough alts. But sometimes it draws the less duration and it's just a break. Um, is that an upgrade? I don't think so. Do you think they will make a ruthless boss event? I don't think they will make any ruthless event after. The last time, people's feedback wasn't very nice about that event. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't happy about the event either, but it's just like, people have this notion that if ruthless event didn't happen, we would have an event for the real game, right? Which is just not the case. Always do Tidal at level 3, transfer to ASAP. I guess that makes kinda sense. I just hate doing level 3 Tidal. Also, sometimes I wanna actually have the freeze immunity on my Quicksilver. When I don't get an early vessel, especially. That's always. <laughs> Karen, it's fine. You can just use you can just vendor a divine now. You won't have belt orbs to like craft anyways. So you don't actually need divines. I mean if you put it on life loss, what do you do about bleed? Or do you just play two life flasks? A bleed and CB, I suppose. Two life loss. I don't hate two life loss, honestly. Enduring mana flask with freeze is actually really, really good. It's just like then you are using an enduring mana flask, which like sometimes can be okay. It definitely can be okay. Do I need anything or can I just start traveling to the right side? Oh, on most casters you are EBM. Not on tricksters, unless you play EBMOM. You didn't take the TP? Yeah, I never do. I'm all slugged out.
actually decent. Be careful. Did I take the skill point here? I didn't, right? No. There is nothing else. When I'm ready, I'm not afraid. What am I even supposed to be clicking now? I think it is actually. Oh, I guess I can click this first. And then we start traveling towards EB. Yeah, it works. Okay. Really? Freeze? Okay, can we at least agree to stop doing this like it nerfs my build it's bad it buffs my build it's good like i had to call, call Ru out on this so much when he was like molding about the flash changes on the pathfinder like there, there's like no way you justify that all flasks were actually balanced and fair and just because you used it in your build doesn't make the change bad like come on man people are so biased when it comes to like i mean it's natural to be biased to a certain point right but, like, you have to at least be like, oh, okay. Who even does Grand Promenade? I think it's better. That's why I do it. Ru being sure Hex Blast is bad. I don't, I don't know why he didn't just take my word for it for being good. It's not like I haven't played it three times before. I do it every time, too. I tried to be honest, but then people piss me off when they complain about DD and I'm like, nah, DD doesn't even need a nerf. I mean, I already did 83 Sanctum with like 4 diff of worth of gear on the Hex Blaster. I don't feel like I need to prove anything more. Like it literally had a Tabula and Goldrimon and 7 League Steps. And do other tenure. It was literally leveling gear plus like clusters. That's it. And the large clusters were white, and the uh, the medium clusters are like three reforges each. I mean, I almost failed, but that was me trolling. Also, that belt ramps up so much when you get. Um... Sandstorm Visage. It's like triple damage, ironically. Um, I guess we just hold skill points now in case I change my mind. The result is 100 percent more than almost failed through. I actually can't believe I managed to clutch the Lucia there. I was for I was for sure like yeah this is over man. And then I will have to listen to Laughing Cat for like five minutes. Not an 8-link build? What do you mean 8-link? Eight 8-link eight helmet over Sandstorm? I don't think that's good at all. I don't think you gain anything from playing 8-link helmet. I like Hex Blast for mapping, but it's hard to build the defense on it because mana becomes so annoying. 
Like, I genuinely believe Hexblast is a good mapper if you can solve the defense. It's just hard to do. You need a lot of reservation efficiency to solve it. Like you basically need to fit in Grace. And then it's fine. Yeah, I mean, my endgame version of uh, Hex Blast was running Skitterbots, Grace, and Discipline. So you just need to do the same, but without the Discipline. Like, it's definitely doable, it's just annoying. What do you mean? You don't kill on the Hex Blast? Of course it's not recovering on kill. It's recovering to your minds. Wait, what gloves? Where am I going, man? Isn't that only for minions? I don't even know, actually. Side drivers, side drivers don't even work for mines. Come on, you can just type a random word. <laughs> I feel like you don't need to recover. But also, I don't think a mana pot matters for Sanctum because you don't really need anything in Sanctum. For mapping, even there it's kind of fine. You can solve the mana, but it's again kind of annoying to do so. It's just easier to use Eternal Mana Flask. Maybe you just overspam. I mean, you just have to use Enduring Mana Flask. Then there's like no way to overspam. The one thing you might be doing wrong is not having enough mana to reserve all your mines. That is the most common uh, mistake I've seen people do. Then the build feels like 10 times worse because sometimes your mines are not detonating and you cannot shield charge. So you need to make sure you can reserve every mine. That's why sometimes I unspec Saboteur in Shadow to get fewer maximum mines. This node. Because you don't really need to pre-stack. If you are pre-stacking anything, it's already dead. So that node just makes it so you need more mana. I have three points. I'm just gonna start to travel to EB now. Start to travel to EB. I'm gonna talk to Einhar here and actually do his quest, I think. Attack mines work this week. Was it last week that the Quantric incident happened? When did Lotus uh, Locus Mine f came out? There were some Locus Mine incidents when it came out. I think on day one, Quantric deleted his ward and made a new character.
I don't know why even I did that. Top secret build, it was that good. Yeah, he was saving it for the, you know, next gauntlet. I need one more Einar. Uh, that's kind of okay, actually. Be careful. Let's save these two. Oh, I still, even with the dex note, I cannot level it, okay. Hmm. Maybe the Amethyst Ring needs to go on. It has dex and strength, like, how bad can it be? What level am I? 58? Oh, yeah, it's actually not bad. I've been like way too relaxed on this run, but I feel like I've been getting actually faster at the campaign. Turns out doing a few of them actually does help. Quantic even stream nowadays? No, he's too busy playing League of Legends. Just like everyone else in the Discord. I don't know what's going on, man. They're all in their League of Legends phase now. Apparently Gorata is like chain queuing 16 hours a day minimum. Dialos. I feel like I would rather use Victarios than Dialos. Because it's gonna be easier to get a corrupted one. And it's gonna be cheaper. And it's gonna solve the mana issues on an early six link. But I mean later and it makes more sense with Trickster as well. I think Diala just sucks on Trickster. Ben lapping the kids to master. I don't even know how many people have masters in the guild. I think Tai Tai has it. I know if Fabgun has it. I know Ben Q has it. There's some. I think everyone's like diamond. Most people are just diamond. they haven't played in like forever. So you gotta grind out some games. Whatever, I will look out, clean my inventory. Oh, that's really good boots. See ya. 
Oh, I didn't find the item. I thought I did. I'm just going to make a new one. Where is the item? It's betrayal. I'll do it just to get gear. I play DD Trickster? No. I mean, I can't imagine it being good. I mean, in comparison to other versions. I mean, I'm sure it's a fine build still. It's still DD, but... I don't see how it's not just worse. Wintery plus those boots? Yeah, that's synergy, man. I think my belt is good enough to be kept for the rest of the run. Unless I, like, ID something crazy. How do I run out of mana, man? Come on, good scepter. What are these scepters, man? Like, how does that even happen? <laughs> Man, that must be not a fun life. You know how many times he heard some like dumbass joke? Oh my god, pain. I feel bad. There's just no way that's a fun. I mean, I guess it's a good icebreaker. If you like actually genuinely stop caring about it, it's probably a decent icebreaker. Like, uh, uh, nothing starts conversation faster than saying your name is a Anus. <laughs> you know? Minimum tier required. I would think it would be tier 11, but I'm not sure. It used to be tier 11 with Old Harvest. And I don't know if that applies to crop rotation as well. I played Dota yesterday and then the day before. Oh no, Karn. This is not the time to be trying to get addicted to Dota. This is like the worst time to be playing it. It's unironically the reason why I don't want to play TFT new set. Because it's like, what if it's fun? Like if it's not fun, then it's not a problem. But what if it is fun?
It's not fun, trust. All the demos league yappers, yeah. I knew they would bait you. Every time you open Discord, you just see like 10 people sitting in sitting in Discord playing League, having the time of their life, and you are like, man, I wish I played League. But at the same time, you don't really wish you played League. It's like... Time of their life. I mean, surely they are enjoying it, otherwise they wouldn't be... You know, sitting there all day. Did I bet you Garata's enjoying queuing 16 hours a day and he doesn't even tilt? The only thing that, you know, does he blame his chat <laughs> when he loses <laughs> in League as well? I bet if he streamed, he would. <laughs> Dude, I, I love Garata rips every time it's chat's fault. Uh, Ben streamed some leak yesterday or two days ago or something. I don't think Gorat that wants to stream League. I mean, most people, it's hard to stream in like games that are not your main games. Like, mental is just annoying looking at your viewer count and it being zero, you know? When the game is fun, it's fine, but like, imagine you get tilted in League and then you get tilted by Twitch chat on top of that. So it goes metrics for sponsors? Eh, kinda, yeah. Depends. I mean, it does. You take it as a vacation? Kinda. I mean... The correct play to stream other games is streaming your main game first, like the Tai Tai style. Where you stream PoE for 20 minutes pretending you are doing an Act 5 run and then you just switch to League or OSRS. Like, that's the proper way of streaming, like, other games. The best part is the people who actually tune in for the PoE streams and they expect it to be PoE stream. I'm gonna settle for that for now. When Balatro, I got not not burnt out. Like I play every now and then, like one or two games, but I can't grind it anymore. I have the same with Hades. Like I can play like one or two runs, but I cannot just grind ten hours of either of those games anymore. I haven't actually played Bellatra much recently. It's not all, it's just, just like... They're not the type of games you can grind 12 hours a day after like the first few days.
I'll have to go back to Act 7. POE too good of a grind game? Yeah. Straight to League afterwards. I mean, at least when POE 2 comes out, you know, you will... <laughs> you will have the luxury of switching games often. Between POE 1 and POE 2. <laughs> oh. The, the POE 1 versus POE 2 is going to be so annoying. I don't want to have it in my chat. Unless I hate POE 2. Then yeah, of course, you know. Welcome all the POE 2 haters, but I kind of doubt I will hate POE 2. It feels like it's going to be something I enjoy based on what we have seen so far, so... It's kind of hard to imagine that. My guess would be that most PoE players, except like Deadeye, MF, Tornado Shot players, will enjoy PoE too. That's my prediction. Now, Fabgun is actually the most excited out about PoE 2 out of anyone. Interestingly enough. Though they had Delve. Didn't they pl say that they plan on adding Delve on release? I feel like in one of the interviews they were like talking about Delve. I mean, it might be different, who knows, but. First games are most fun. Eh, sometimes. I mean, Karn is one of the people who actually did enjoy D4 on release. So I feel like that, that's the wrong person to tag there. See, can you say that? But I feel like this league was kinda like that with the Transfigured Gems. And all you did was play another Born Cheddar build. Because technically, Born Cheddar get it, got a Transfigured Gem, so you could pretend it was a new build. Kinda. Cause it's, yeah, but most Transfigured Gems were numerically better, rather than worse. I would say. I think most Transfigured Gems were pretty overturned.
I mean, sure, dude. If you feel like Tornado Jet is the only build in this game, I mean, yeah, Transfigured Gems suck. What can you do? Over. This thing is 100% more bone shitter nerf. They're adding more red gems. I would hope so, man. The best build needs to get nerfed. I need to remove that sound from this filter manually. What sound drug markers? I backtracked for them so many times. I mean, I'm not saying it's not my fault, it's just... I mean, not in these runs at least. Am I gonna use this as my body armor? That sounds cooked. I don't think Glad needs a buff. I don't think buff helps Glad. If you buff Glad, it's still gonna be bad. It needs to be like straight up full rework. Not the sabo treatment, man. Just give it overleach AoE and keep challenger charges. What if they just delete Glad and put bleed explosions on champ and challenger charges on Slayer? Bucket, we don't actually need Glad. See, this logic doesn't really work, because technically Pathfinder is just a belt. Turns out being just a belt is pretty good. I'm sure your glass suggestion is amazing, but it's way too long for me to read. Music. <laughs> Make glad have 100% max block chance, but have a percent of damage taken on block that scales with block recovery. And... I still feel like they should rework block rather than reworking block on glad. I think that just makes more sense.
Guys, are you sure you want Glad to be good? Last time Glad was good was Expedition League. Like, that was the last time Glad was good. I <laughs> love expedition. Dude, if you could remove the week one expedition memory from my head, I wouldn't even mind expedition leak. Expedition Gauntlet is probably the single most memorable Gauntlet. I mean, part of the problem with block is that you just cannot get it on gear. And it has to come from your skill tree. The only way to get it from gear is like, there's just very few options. Unless you are Necro, then it's like, okay. Some of the skill tree block notes are good. I don't think they all suck. I still think glancing block should be the way block is in uh, Torchlight Infinite. Just let us scale block chance to 100 and then... S you can scale like the block value or something. Or make it so the block block chance with um, glancing is 100% and then you have to scale block chance for block value. So something like that. Like It just needs to be different than it is right now. And like block can't be like balance around uh, life on block. Like that shit just needs to go in my opinion. Life and ES on block is just toxic. Oh, Ellie has it like that as well. Never played block in last epoch actually. Never saw the reason because you could just play armor and armor was OP last time I played. Everyone just freaking transcendence basically. Decent amulet. Why does it keep rolling that man? So sad. Um, I need to check my sockets. Uh... This looks like it's gonna be fine.
Good. I hate this game. I fucking despise this game so much. Daily rant, guys, it's time. So annoying. Where's my flask? Here. We can't say PoE2 fix anymore? We can! PoE2, I mean, it won't fix these issues. It will fix other issues, I guess. I mean, all the issues are gonna be fixed in PoE2. We just won't have them fixed here. It's fine. That one is okay. I think I can actually use these gloves. I mean, honestly, the leveling shit doesn't actually matter. It's just annoying. Like, it doesn't actually really change, like, anything, but... The annoying part is you just don't understand why it exists. Or at least I don't. Do I want to play Tempest Shield or do I want to play Herald of Ash? I feel like I want to play Tempest Shield, man. Herald of... <laughs> I don't think Herald of Ash does enough. No, Bex is working on the better- oh, I, I took that hit. On the better RPG on Triad. They're working on an RPG as well. I don't know what game she is actually working on though. Golden door.
How is Volker on Mandela's single target? I mean, same as any other Valve Flame Blast build. And it's worse than DD. Single target is definitely the weaker part of the build. Did I kill um, Avarius yet? I don't know if I did or not. I feel like I did. That's a really... That's a really okay weapon, honestly. So that it's spell damage. Uh, I think it's still better than what I have. You can craft flat fire on it for two alchemies. Almost died. Okay, now time to fix the gear. Come on, please hit something decent. That's honestly not even bad. I'm kinda okay with that. It's not good, but... Yeah, I'm missing a guard skill right now. I'm aware, thank you, though. Missing a lot of stuff. Um, I'll just run. I think Stormbrand for Sanctum is not that good. In the sense of you need more gear to play Stormbrand in Sanctum. Like, I'm sure fully geared Sunbrand probably very, very good in Sanctum. But I think the damage on Sunbrand early on, like, if you don't have, like, Relic Ash, I think you're gonna suffer. So I would be careful about playing Sunbrand. Yeah, I guess you can just do low-level Sanctums, that's true. I keep forgetting about that. 
I feel like in hardcore, it's kind of hard to get low level sanctums. Is that not the case in softcore? Like the only people who have more than like one or two sanctums at hand is like people who have 83s only. Need to level up. Too committed to him at this point. Need him to die. Oh my god, worth it. You can farm Legion on DD. If it's like SSF and you need one jaw, it's like very fine. People are so extreme as when it comes to this stuff, it's like. Oh, you can only do Legion when you play LA. Like, that's... Like, come on, man. It's not that painful. It's not like an amazing Legion build, but it's fine. Like, you don't roll DD to farm Legion, but you can do Legion on it. Oh my... I don't want to talk about that. Misclicked. I promise I misclicked there. Probably need freeze immunity on my flask. As much as is not ideal. Sounds good enough to keep. Does it prevent freeze? Uh, yes. Does not prevent stun, but does prevent freeze. Get to actually use a Pentium that's not ranking. I do unspec out of that note end game though. Just to click the suppression note. Like once you get action speed on boots. That not become like once you have access to action speed on boots, right? That note becomes a lot worse. Game DDX one save. Is DD viable for Uber bosses? Uh, it's viable, but. I think most people will unironically struggle on uber bosses with DD. Need combustion. One sec, chat. I need to focus to fix my gear here. Oh 
Oh my god, stop destroying me. Swift affliction. Be careful. Cruel thing. Flame ball needs to go. We can level elemental weakness. We can get flame search. Yes. To you. Need defines better. Just to level. Uh, do I need anything else? Moonlight, no. The rest seems fine. I said this all the time. I think Affliction was a good league. I don't think uh, every league should be like Affliction. That's how I see it. I'm pretty confident in that statement. Obviously, it's personal preference at the end of the day, anyways. Um, sorry, I'm almost ready. Pay attention to you guys. Okay, I think that's it. That wasn't too bad. I showed a pretty decent map engine this time. My yes is a little low. Uh, I forgot to craft there. I don't have the alchemy for it though. I need like three more alchemies or something. Glacier. Okay, uh, hopefully we didn't forget anything important. Cannot end with exposure, fuck that. Slash passives, it should say 22. It does say 22. 
Just for bosses? Yeah, and rare mobs sometimes. Like, most of the map is gonna be cleared by, uh... Wave, but... Sometimes you just press while playing boss randomly. Player seems pretty good. Especially for a daily map. Forgot the life mastery. I don't think my body armor has life on it now. So we could actually play that. Am I gonna keep blood rage at level 3? No, I should probably level it now. The reason it was at level 3 was because uh, I was afraid to over level it. But I should level it now. Oh, you need to talk to Danik first. So you need to just find a Danik in then like the natural habitat in the campaign, and then you can uh, you can do it. Yeah, I mean. The survivability on Vogue, I mean, it shouldn't be much different than DD Ignite, though, no? Jang had, like, a leak start guide, so maybe check check that one out and see what you did different. I think it was last leak or this leak that he had a leak start guide for it. It looks like Valflame Blast Elementalist, I think. It's basically the same build. Doesn't really matter which skill you use for clear. Craftable ring, yeah, but I don't know if I will bother with it. I wonder if this build is actually gonna be able to compete with Bone Cheddar. Last time we did something similar, this build was the fastest of every build. It beat DD. Like, it beat Ignite DD. But obviously, there is variance to these runs, right? So that doesn't necessarily mean that the build is faster. Oh, I missed the... Missed the exit. It is hard to get Suppression Elementalist, but Suppression Lucky kind of solves that. At least for map- whoops, for mapping. Pack build? Kinda true. This is pretty much whole pack place. Except he just replaces the wave of conviction with like a random skill. Well actually that's not even true anymore. All pack pay plays nowadays is DD. He changed. He is one of the DD people now. One of us. Chain build. Uh, it's a bit wild to me though. That he chose the worst DD. I mean, they're both good, don't get me wrong, but... I feel like he chose the worst one. Walk trans jamming coming. There was a really good uh, mod for walk in uh, Crucible League. But something like the longer duration... Gave you like dot multi? Or something? Wasn't wasn't this a thing in Crucible League? There's something like that on Vogue. 
So you had to like hit it at the end of the cast and whatnot. It was it was interesting. What's my alchemy check? I need two I need three alchemies to fix my items. I was working in comparison to armor run. I mean I haven't done armor run. I only ever do Armageddon brand to maps. I never play it in maps. I might do a Arm of Recall run, even though I don't really like the playstyle. I need to finish my fast craft, and I need to select my Pantheon. Well, the correct one at least. Yeah, that, that's the mod. That mod was like... It actually made the Wave of Conviction build interesting because it changed how you play it. I could see that being a transfig gem. I need to fit in the onslaught. It's so hard to fit in divine blessing. Maybe I can do it later. Keep running out of mana. Yeah, well, for, I mean, it's not even that right now. Well, I guess it's both. It's both that and the fact that uh, the fact that I don't have enough yes. I did not complete Unhearth's mission. Oh my god. I'm sure I completed it though. That's the worst part. I just need to go to Act 2. If I die to CB in this map, I'm gonna be actually pissed. I'm literally taking off the flask for one map. I better not die to it. Come on, game. Don't do it to me. I missed. <laughs> He outplayed me, man. What can I do? What does get past turn mean? Hello? Does that mean I have to leak start a totem build or something? Oh, boss running away? Oh, I already forgot. <laughs> Those clips are actually hilarious though. Yeah, with Axel Shrine, this build feels kinda good. What if we just play with Perma Axel Shrine?
But did he not die? Time to drop Gal. Yeah, and Spike push around, eh? Actually, I'm still looting because I want better weapon in this run. I can't settle for this one. I think I need better weapon. What else should I upgrade if I'm gonna be upgrading stuff? Maybe Amulet? She wants open Brevix? Yeah, I need alchemies. I'm aware of that one. is one of them. Yeah, it's honestly pretty good. Let's solve all the mana issues too. Now I need sockets for Divine Blessing somehow. Hmm. So I need three sockets, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. And I think I have two empty sockets right now. Technically, okay, I've technically have a third socket in boots. Hmm. How do I... How do I change my stuff to fit it? So, I would need a helmet. Okay, so the boots can have... Divine Bless- I would have to have like... Fuck, this is so hard to think about. So I have two green sockets right now. Two red, one blue. And then it's a red, red, blue. Okay, that's kinda doable. I need a new helmet though. I want to fit in Divine Blessing.
Okay, I need to look for weapon. That's pretty much the main upgrade that I need to look for. I think everything else is kinda irrelevant. Weapon's also the easiest item to replace anyways. How do these scepters just have zero useful stats? Oops. I didn't expect him to activate so fast. I don't know why I expect him to have like a short intermission. Why is this so hard? That did not need to be that hard. What level am I? Let's see, eight. I think this is on pace with the good build so far. I mean, it feels good, so it, it should be. And this new MTX. Uh, Iron Supporter Pack's a little before New League. Like, they, ha they happen when patch notes happen, I think. So, like, one week before. That helmet is kind of good. It's like four resists. I need to not get baited into buying a supporter pack. I already spent 100 for the goblins. I'm usually pretty immune to... I'm usually pretty immune to MTX. The goblins were an exception, okay? The goblins and the... The map device that tracks your time was also an exception. Yeah, a six socket would be really good, that's true. 
But it kind of needs to be armor, yes, base. Yeah, you can buy the time cloth portal. It's like 270 points or something. I couldn't resist. I wish I could, but I couldn't. I guess if it's on sale, yeah. You can get it a bit cheaper. Or map device as well. Eh. It's just an MTX. I don't know. I don't find it well. I feel like price of MTX just doesn't matter. I don't know. Like if it's wild, then just don't buy it. It's not like something you have to have. It's like the equivalent of complaining, oh, these ferry cars are kinda expensive. Yeah, just buy a normal car. You don't need a ferry, you know? Like, there's a fucking MTX. Doesn't matter. It's okay, you need it for anything. I use I mean, it's just like, it's just luxury goods, right? Like the price on it kind of doesn't matter. Like you don't think it's worth it or not. Like, yeah. I mean, clearly they are selling it at that price because people are actually buying it. I mean, I bought it at that price. You bought a Ferrari? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Don't they know? Every streamer is a millionaire, okay? Our money, yeah. Makes <laughs> your talk about cost of living less relatable. Was 70. Okay, it's up for our 70. It's a decent start of the run. I'm gonna start linking, uh, looting answers. They need to roll at least decent though. Um. You guys remember what we were clicking next? 
I think we're gonna click our effect. This log out? Hell no, I'm not logging out. How do I log out right now? I guess I could go right side. Yeah, that makes some sense actually. I'm gonna do this travel now. Fix the skill tree. I'm Oh my god, he got stunned out of it. The Valve Flame Blast hits so hard. Even in an Ignite version of the Veld. Okay, I can craft life on the... Shield now. We might see our combinators in like some flashback or something. I don't think we're gonna see them as part of base game. I would be surprised. But I mean, I would also say the same thing about an auction house. And uh, now they're talking about having auction house in PoE 2, so. Who knows, man? Who knows? Age propaganda needs to die. I think being able to buy currencies would be good. I don't really care about buying, uh... Oops. I don't really care about buying, like, real items, but currency... The DGN, um... I don't even know where the degen was coming from, I didn't see it, so that's why I was like standing in it. Only use walk for the exposure. What do you mean? I use it for mapping. Like I'm clearing the entire map with walk. Sure on bosses, I mean the damage comes from about Flame Blast. Oh, I missed that. I don't know. Wave of Conviction is good early because you get the exposure and on Elemental this exposure is insane. So like early Wave of Conviction is really strong. Later on, I think when you have exposure on hit, Fucking molten shell. 
Minus day and it's the first trip. So annoying, man. Like, what the fuck is the counterplay? Just don't play the game. Don't charge into stuff. Like, I didn't. I don't think they even hit me. I think it's literally just all the molten shells. I guess the counterplay is play slower. I could have more life, but I don't even feel like my defense is that low. That's the thing. Like, I'm like, what? Freaky life determination grace? Like, it's, it's white maps. You know, that map was kind of rippy, though, to be fair. It was like great and extra damn. So I guess it's fair that I died. Actually, the more I think about it. Okay, I'm printing maps now. Problem, the main problem with this build is that you have to use two skills to play the game. DD doesn't need to do that. Which, like, early on is not really a problem. But, like, later on, you have to kind of decide which link, which one is on a 6 link, which one is on a 4 link. And, uh, you also lose a lot of the value from playing Wave of Conviction once you get exposure on hit gloves, right? It's just really good early when you don't have access to that. I'm probably not league starting elementalists either, regardless whether DD gets nerfed or not. No exposure. It's gonna be painful map. Why is it cold damage and not fire, man? Should have traveled the other way around. I'm wasting one extra point. Am I a necro believer? No. Probably just restarting something random. We'll see. I still like to say maybe everything will look bad. Oops. I don't want to talk about it. I don't know why I ran out. So up into more. Ah, I played more way too many times. There's like no way I'm loading up more, even if I play softcore by any chance. I played that build so much. This map is bad because it's a uh, exposure avoid.
Because we are dropping a lot of maps. Oh, what the? What even is that? I need flasks. I did not expect the twin to be the second phase. Why walk played with flame blast for fat mobs instead of flame surge? What do you mean? Flame surge is nothing to do with that. Like, you use Flame Search regardless of whether you use Flame Blast or not. But the way Ignite is currently balanced, you basically have to use Wild Skills. Wild Skills or play a Corpse Skill. At least early game. I missed. today's teaser today's teaser is gonna be another crafting nerf probably i'm calling it now today's a teaser i mean we have been getting small teasers every day but like the actual like stream is 21st The nerf is already gone. Yeah, you think that was the only one? Oh, man. And now crafting just has to suffer for... I don't know why crafting has to suffer. It just does. Need to buy some chance orbs. Massive nerf fetch later. Eh. 
I don't know, no reason to... Like, even if that was the case, what is the... You know, how does it help to, like, be emo about it now? It's like, whatever, man. People are, like, way too paranoid. Like, every time we have a massive nerf patch, we are stronger than next patch anyway, so it doesn't even matter. There's too much shit in this game by now to, like, have massive nerf patches. Like, even after Expedition, like, one patch later we were stronger. Like, sure, it was because GG did some changes, but... People would consider Lake of Kalandra a nerf patch. I don't even know if we got really nerfed in Lake, but... I'm definitely not weaker right now, I can tell you that much. I think it depends what, what the nerfs are. I think that part is very important. Like, when the nerfs are, like, Expedition mana cost changes, it's understandable that people are upset. You know? If the changes are something reasonable, then who really cares? That's how I look at these things. I mean, some stuff does need to get nerfed. It is how it is. And will it upset the people who play that stuff? Yes, it will. But it, it's part of the game. Like, if you don't nerf anything ever, the game will just not function. Like, everyone who is like, why nerf? Why not just buff other stuff? Like, it just doesn't really work. We are already, like, too strong. Especially in trade leagues. And especially in softcore trade league, but... The one thing I don't like is the crafting nerfs, man. And like, is Veld Chaos too good? I mean, maybe you can argue it is. But it's just like, it's good because there's just no other crafting options. Crafting just kinda sucks. Like, I would rather them nerf... Like, damage and or defense, the nerf the way to obtain gear. But I don't think everyone would agree with that. Actually, I think a lot of people would disagree with that. We are due for a crafting leak, oh. I don't think we are getting Crafting League anytime soon. Our Crafting League was Crucible. That one lasted like two years and people complained about it, right? So there's never gonna be another Crafting League again. Never think early gearing. I think in GGG's eyes, Veld Chaos is not early gearing though. And I kinda understand where that's coming from. For them, that's like... They probably consider that endgame gearing, I'm gonna be real with you. And it kinda is. What? No shot? What do you mean, no shot? Like, well, gear very lock suffixes and then Vel Chaos is good enough to kill all content in this game. What do you mean, no shot? That's like gear people kill Ubers with in fucking SSF Hardcore. What do you mean, no shot? Immortal Flash? Ooh, can we fit it? Probably not. 
It would be nice to do so. I'll try later. I mean, it's a huge nerf, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna pretend it's not, but, like... In GGG's eyes, those items are probably fine to be nerfed because they are endgame items. Even if you personally disagree with that. It's good trade? No, but... That can't be good trade. Sacrificing early progression to make mirror crafting better is never a good trade. I think they just feel like crafting is too strong, so they are nerfing it. And this was like a convenient excuse to do so. At least that's how I see it. I mean, maybe I am being uncharitable, but... I don't think... If anything, they have been doing a lot of changes where they move power from like mirror... Like endgame stuff to like earlier stuff. Like the flash changes are a good example of that. Right? Like the flash changes either don't affect earlier... Like low... Sorry. The flash changes either don't affect like low tier investment builds or are a slight buff, but they are a nerf to high end, right? The Veld Chaos is like kind of the... I don't know. It's kind of nerfed to everyone, man. I'm gonna be real. But it's like a convenience buff to high end, even though stuff is gonna be more expensive. Yeah, it also depends on drop rate. Like, uh, again, I might eat my words if the drop rate is 100%. Right, like if the, if the drop rate is under percent, I mean I was wrong, for sure. If the drop rate is like twenty five percent, it's probably still gonna be fine, honestly. If the drop rate is like ten percent or less, I mean we'll see. It just depends. It's all speculations right now. But it's fun to talk about, I mean, this is the only info we have, right, so... Of course we're gonna talk about it. Linking items? Ah. Uh, don't care, couldn't care less. Just use Tainted Fusings, those didn't change. This chance are okay stop. And that Bob if using change, I don't know about that. After Harvest League? Dude, we haven't had Harvest League for a long time. It has nothing to do with Harvest League at this point. It's just, I feel like people already felt like crafting was bad. And now we are making it worse. Well, at least the people I talk to. Maybe, maybe that's not the general consensus. I agree that I have a skewed view because I talk to a lot of SSF players. Dude, that ignite is insane. What? That's like a plus five ignite. I need to not curse this boss. Oh my god. Calm down, boss. If you curse him, he does, um, I think it's called Bone Nova or Curse Nova or something, I don't know. 
but it would probably one shot my character. It's like a huge physical spell hit, I think. And I don't really have good defense against that unless I roll the lucky suppression. He does it, and uh, Relic Chamber boss does it. I don't know if there's more of these. Oh, those skeletons. This map is so sketchy with proxy shields. Mark a curse? Uh, yes. Mark is a curse, but it's not a hex, right? That's how it works. Did I say... Wait, did I say the other way around? I don't think I did. I mean, that's how it works. Seventy-four. Um, I think I'm falling behind a little bit of Bone Shatter Run. But, I mean, you can't really compare yourself to Bone Shatter Run, man. That skill's just unfair. Oh, I might use that. With that rolls well, I need an unset. Please, <laughs> give me blast charge. Thank you. I heard the toxic a little too late there. And my chaos stress is just not good. I mean, it's hard to get chaos stress in these runs. Do bone cheddar slayer? Yeah. That's not what I was hoping for there. You don't have to use totems that much, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I understand people's annoyance with totems, but... 
I feel like it's not that different from like any other build. Especially with the Linger Mastery. Like I feel like every build has some extra stuff to support the build. Like Traps and Mines are Bear Trap, Ignite has Flame Surge. Like everything has something. I think before the Linger Master, Dotems were a lot more pain than they are now. But he doesn't. But he does Ensnaring Arrow, you even have to weapons up for it. <laughs> up there. It's also the other part of why people who dislike Mela is I feel like on day one you have to use a lot more totems than you have to like I feel like you place down more totems on day one than you place down on the rest of your character. Just because on day one you like I feel like you have to place down totems on like essences and stuff later on you don't have to. And that is something that's important, but people don't really talk about, or like, don't really take into account. List of times for runs? I mean, I keep the runs. I don't keep the- I don't keep a list of runs, or like, list of times, but... You can just check the runs and, uh, grab the timer from there. I know- I know Bone Chatter's the fastest. And you can- you can kinda tell from, like, the YouTube video link, too. There's usually like a few extra minutes maximum. Seventy-five at four thirty-two. That's so decent though. Guess that is weird because like. There's one Chaos Dot skill that's worth playing. Sorry, Chaos Dot spell that's worth playing. Kinda. Which is Soul Rand. But the only way it's worth playing is playing it as, as Ignite. Like, it's not even... Even that is not worth playing. Uh, sorry, not Ignite. Uh, poison. I, I kinda overcooked there. Oh, it's a Warlord Grip. Oh no, we're gonna be here for a while. You can actually play it as Ignite. I wouldn't be surprised if you could play it as Ignite on Elemental as well. And it'd probably feel pretty good because Mechanical Soldier's nice. Can I even run that? Spell damage notes on the tree, that would help a lot. Yeah, that would actually help, that is true. We need... Does it control J? So we need... 
15, 16 more Atlas bonus. If I did the math right. That guy has to be fire ignite resistant. I know for a fact he is. You guys are misunderstanding the reason for why Act Fun is hard. It's not hard for new players anyways. It's harder to fuck us. Okay? People who try to go over the speed limit. New players are gonna be fine because they overgeared. Like, new players ironically struggle less in Act Fun than I do. My friend finished Act 2 with 18 hours playtime mark. Wait, that's crazy. Did he listen to every lore? I feel like he must have. Kind of based. Yeah, I think the, the place where new players start struggling usually would be Act 3, Act 4. That's where, I, that's where I would expect them to struggle, at least. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I guess if you are used to dying on every boss, lap is a root awakening, eh? Yeah, but honestly, the people who quit early probably wouldn't enjoy the game anyways. Like, sure, you can be like, oh, they're intimidated by the passive tree, but, like, there, there is a lot of stuff to POE and a lot of complexity, right? Like, if you if you can't handle that, like, you would have a hard time getting into the game. I mean, I'm not saying there shouldn't be like some suggested stuff on the positive tree or something. Or like some way to make it better. More obvious like starting notes, stronger stuff in Act 1 or like better like, tutorial or whatever. I I'm not saying that, but... I need alchemies. I need a lot of alchemies actually. I don't think I can run a letter flag. Office report, I mean. Alt POE was good. I strong disagree with that one. And I feel like... Uh, I mean, depends on what you mean by alt, I suppose. I mean, by now, you know, Delirium League is an old PoE for some people. I don't think the game was terrible in Delirium League, but... If you are talking like old, old PoE, I would call it terrible, yeah. I mean, the first league I played was a Talisman League. Well, I played once before that, but I quit in Act 3 when the game sent me back to Cruel Act 1. I killed Dominus, I got sent to Twilight Strand, I'm like, yeah, okay, see ya, time for World of Warcraft! 
And then I came back like years later. Uh, all dot builds have shared damage over time. Like the damage over time limit is limited combined per target. Delhi was March 2020. The COVID breakdown in my con sorry, the COVID lockdown in my country started literally two days before COVID. Oh, sorry, before before Delhi Room. Coincidence? The reason I remember that so vividly is because I had some projects to finish and to present on the Monday after leak start. And uh, they get they got cancelled over it, and then I was like, "Well, sweet, I get to play some Poe," <laughs> you know. That's why I remember it. You guys, careful with the conspiracy. Someone's going to take them seriously. <clears throat> 11 more points. 11 more points. That's the first ritual. I'll do it, but... Somehow this run actually worked out fine without Ritual. Usually I would struggle hard without Ritual on currency, but... What do you need Ritual? Because it's super good for early game currency. Like, day one Ritual is insane. Or like chance orbs and alchemies. I mean, this one seems to suck, but on average, it's really good. What is that? I have no idea. This is the worst ritual ever. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That answer ring might be an upgrade. Good quest sanctum. The problem with quest sanctum is that it's ironically difficult for most builds. Cycling damage direction, really? It's a decent rank. I might use that when I need the answer. 
I really need a new weapon, man. Um, park. Well, they're changing cycling reduction for next week to just do basically nothing. The way it works right now is that the mobs are... I don't know if it's immunity or 90% or something. Um, damage reaction against a certain type and it just rotates which... Sorry, against every type except one. And then it rotates what the one you can damage it with is. It's just really, really annoying. He's inside info. Oh, no, no, there was like a tweet halfway through the league about um, them changing how cycling reduction will work. Basically, it's gonna work like EE. So when you hit it with fire damage, it's gonna have like 25% extra lightning res or something. Like all the EE, I mean. At least that's what they were saying. Um, I don't really care about this map, sure. Sixty-eight, For missing thirty-two, so that's an eight maps plus all hands nine maps. I should do this too, Jin. Actually. Those guys are not dying. Fucking Soul Eater, man. The one expedition I opened just as a Soul Eater. He's still following me. I'm leaving. The last time I tried the items for the link, I was saying how I have a friend who always believes in it and I have never seen it work and then it actually worked. They did something to Soul Eater as well. True, actually. Soul Eater should just have a duration or a cap. On monsters, at least. Maybe don't put a cap on it, because then Headhunter players would be sad. But duration works. But I'd probably the duration is, wouldn't it have to be one minute? Unless it works different for monsters and players, which I don't think it would. Are we gonna go with the another headhunter nerf? Baby rage crowd? I want to play PoE now, but I would burn out before League start. Really? 
I never like get burned out from these uh, pre league start runs. The problem is the one minute duration wouldn't work unless you are like on the screen with the monster. Like it wouldn't take down, I don't think. So it doesn't work as nicely as you think it does. like nothing man whatever uh, I need to go to town yeah that's the problem like the mobs wouldn't be loaded so the timer wouldn't go down I have 10 refund points left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's perfect. Solar is touched. Okay. Got some currency. What are you gonna do? A non hit build? <laughs> Cry. Of course. Is CBMOM good tech on Inquis? It's a good tech on anyone who has good way of recovering ES. Which generally means Inquis and Trickster. Sometimes you can do it on other ascendancies too. Was the last time I played Mom? I definitely played it in Crucible. I don't know if I played it after. Oh, that's insane. What? Actually, a huge upgrade. That will be very noticeable. The transfigured golem was a big change for that build. 
I remember looking at it and being like, this is a MOBA, but I don't remember exactly what it is on a slur. Is it just that you can have more? Is that all it is? Or was there more to it? Having more is a pretty big deal, though. It feels so much better the more golems you have. Starting golem limit is free. I mean, it would be very noticeable for like mapping, sanctum. For bossing, I don't think it would be as noticeable. But for everything else, it would be. Even for bossing, though, it's nice. Because it's just easier to explore your golems than... <sighs> I was dead if I didn't look there. My Tempest Shield wasn't on and almost got me killed. I just used all my flasks. It's fine. Whatever. Just play the game. Double check, 7 to 7. Imagine I ran back and then I died to the same pack. That would have been hilarious. Oh. Wasn't that far off, honestly, there. Man, I shouldn't be looking over at my second monitor during this map. That map is cursed. Like, indoor map with plus two pro, skeletons everywhere, like... How are you supposed to even deal with that? Show stats, 84, we need... We, we need, like, no bonus now. Is Solaris the like life to ES helmet or what is that? Isn't that already like pretty meta? You can't really buff that, that item. Oh, never mind, it's that one. Okay, that one you might be able to buff. I don't know how good that is. I played it like one time in like 3.15 or something. I mean, you could play Volk as your main damage probably on a 5 playing. That's what I did in the last run I did with like similar run to this. I didn't have Valflame Blast. So I had an early 5 link. But I mean, there's just no reason not to play Valflame Blast. I used Smite. I think I had it, but I didn't actually press it almost ever. It's like too much effort for not enough gain. It's like worse divine blessing. I need to kind of clear this map. So why am I doing a ghosted uh, summit boss? I do not like that. I mean, that works, though.
92, three more maps. Do I have a Kerak? I have zero Keraks. Not again, not the Skelly Hell again. No, there are only skeletons in this map, man. Oh, map. Tier 8 at least. Uh, 6 socket, sign to chain mail. I will grab that. Could maybe fit in Divine Blessing with that. Dead crits me, I'm dead. I had to look out, I was dead. The flash are just left. I need Uber Lab. Did I really not have a trial yet? Maybe I just missed it. Kind of on different. That's good, actually. Kinda need new helmet. Kinda works. For now. Where's Alchemist? So I thought I wouldn't be able to play Divine Blessing, but it looks like I will. I didn't really level the gems for it.
Can't wait for leak starter videos. I feel like they have been getting better overall. Not er not everyone's obviously, but I feel like the most of the builds on YouTube have improved quite a bit over the last. I mean, I guess they were like really bad. Now they're just like kind of bad, but it feels better whenever I look at that stuff. Drama. I'm not even talking about like any of the streamers. I'm more talking like the people who are just like YouTube people. Because that's usually where the problem lies. Those are usually the questionable builds. Has gotten super toxic in the last year. Uh, I disagree. I think there is like a total of two people who have gotten super toxic. And I think that st statement is not true. Can you name those two? Yeah. Ru and Junk. I don't get me wrong, I'm I'm definitely sometimes toxic too when I see a build that's really bad. But it's just like they even go for builds that are just like, yeah, there's something sub up the with the build and they just go hard on it. It's like, hey. Not toxic if true. No, that's definitely not true. Just because you are right doesn't give you the right to speak in any way you want. I don't know. It's about the delivery at that point. I agree. I mean, that's what I tried to explain to Rue yesterday, but... He feels like he did nothing wrong. I mean, let's be real. The goal isn't criticism. The goal isn't to improve the build. The build is... the. The goal is usually, and even I do this, to make fun of whoever made the build, right? And then there's varying degree to how far you take it. No one's actually taking some random build and improving it. Or to warn people not to follow the build guide. Okay, I'm gonna say a hot take. And people are gonna get pissed about this a lot. Actually, I'm gonna save the hot take for another day. Ben's POB are better than Zizz's POBs, right? We can all agree to that. But following a Zizz guide will lead to a better experience than uh, following a Ben POB for most people. Obviously, if you know what you are doing, that's not the case, but most people who follow guides don't know what they are doing. I had to log out, I think. Not a hot take at all. Yeah, but I was gonna do a hot take and then I decided to make decided to change the names. I wish I didn't log out there. I don't know if it was worth it. Man, where's my lap? 
Where is my lab? Why not speculate, y'all? No. I just missed my Wildflame Blast, that's insane. Might have to go for... Uh... Damage out as soon instead of haste. But then I have to recolor stuff, so maybe not. I have to find a new helmet. Rachel bad. Rachel's not even bad though, only start. A new leak start. Uh, just testing stuff. I'm uh, not even testing stuff. Just playing to pass time, honestly. Two more weeks. I don't want to talk about it yet. I was trying to hit the totems and Chimera, and somehow that did not happen. Aim labs on Steam is free. <laughs> That's honestly a very original insult. I'm gonna start using that whenever I watch FPS players or FPS streamers. That is a good one. I feel like that's an insta ban though, the second you type that. But worth it. It's all the one TBH used a lot. You have no idea how much effort it takes me to not make that 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 joke. Really wanted to make it, but I decided to be, you know, to be a better man today. Why am I still in tier 9 maps, man? I need to drop some maps. Please, game. Doesn't yield any cake, jeez. Uh, true. It does not. No, that's a minus one. So dropping minus ones, man, please.
Minus two, okay. That works, I guess. It's not minus one, a streamer. You got what you asked for and you still complain. There's a copy pasta about GGG giving streamers everything and they still complain. No streamer here, not invited to the event, true. Oh, lab, finally. Listen, that's better than an event invite. I finally got my lab. And it's a good trial. <sighs> I'm I'm easy to please, you know. Remember when you had to find six of those? Uh, that was some pain. That was some actual pain. Oh, tier 10. Nice. Level 90? I have had a lot of runs where I wasn't level 90, like I was way above 90 before I got my Uber lab. A lot of them. <laughs> 90 was probably like the average. Never get so many maps. I mean, I spec into map sustain. That's why I'm getting maps. You get whatever you spec on your atlas. If you spec into maps, you get maps. If you spec into legion, you get legion. That's, that's how this game works. It's not that complicated. I <laughs> know, crazy concept, isn't it? <laughs> Having control over the content you are doing? No way, dude. Please die. No, I don't. Okay, nice. Lap time. The goddess is watching. Where do you speak into mirrors? Well, you have about 10 days to farm some mirrors. After that, you might never see a mirror again. Yeah, I guess technically you can farm feared if you wanna drop a mirror. If you just chain feared all league, you're pretty likely to see a mirror. I heard it's like 1 in 500 feared. So if that's true, then... Uh... You know, that's not even that bad of odds. I get it will take you a while, but... Now you don't have to do shapers, you can do builders. It's less currency efficient though, kinda. Not really though. Are you a martyr? 
because time plays a role. Um, I got hit pretty hard there. We might have an incident soon. I don't think this is the right way, is it? Wait, there's an exit there, I'm blind. And then far left. I mean, I definitely cannot drop Grace, so it would be dropping Haste for my love. Dropping Grace equals hard stack 84 or something. For sure. No, I misclicked. I hate misclicking. I think I could play Herald of Ash now instead of Tempest Shield, but... I don't even know if it accomplishes much. The image is definitely a little on the lower side. Let's not lie to ourselves. Yo, is Guard still here? I got his flask. So what do I need on my helmet? I just need dexterity. Don't you dare vendor it, I need alchemies. Sorry. <laughs> Report it. Uh, I didn't get it in the bone shit run though. That was some bullshit RNG, never lucky. Okay, we finally got Uber Lab though. That was my minus one. Oh no. Oh 
Oh yeah, I had a little run where I got tainted bugged in Act 9. From uh, Shakira. I don't know how he doesn't work on Slayer though. And... Face of Karma with that. That's a, you know... Jack item. It's also way more common. You can kinda expect to get one. Yeah, obliteration would have been good, but it would lose me some single target. I would use it for mapping for sure. I don't know what's on this map. Not again. I don't want to do the mineral pools thing again. Yeah, we have been here before, man. Do I have a horizon? I don't. We have to run this. There's no way we don't. Otherwise, we are just hard sucking ourselves for no reason. Show stats, 100% chance. If he the map boss, okay, I will try. Okay, tier 12, but it's a fucking Basilica. That might actually be worse than Mineral. No, actually, Basilica is a fine map. We just need to kill the boss only once. And not, like, repeatedly. Basilica would be such a good map. If it, yeah, if it was like default cathedral boss, Basilica's pretty good. Do I ever leave this map? No, I don't think I can. I think I have to kill the boss here. I got stuck, man. I like assumed I would be able to walk through. That's my bad. I was like not paying attention. I could have just cast it, but I didn't realize. Stuck A team. Eh. I think I'm still on pace to hit 81 before you would leave the campaign. It's fine. Yeah, give me a map, game. Give me a map, please. Approach, 
Or don't, I guess. There's like no way this this run beats Bone Cheddar. Gonna be real. I need to respect. Need to get this. Connect there. One, two, three, four. Uh, I need regrets. Need two regrets later. Uh, do, 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 do anything? No. Need a few zinc. Came back after five years, but it was enjoyable. Welcome back. Game changed a lot in five years, though. There is a lot for you to learn. What is this? I cannot. Finally. I'm glad I looted all those stacks of alterations. Because I almost started skipping them. Oh, Arcanist Brand, dear, dear. Did I forget anything? I need two regrets, that's it, right? Need to start disabling the blood rage, man. I have the wrong person. Here, twelve basilica. Dead in. Sell all this, all that. You go in. Well, I'm just weird to dodge, I agree. I think it's a very counterintuitive ability in the way it's designed. And uh, hitboxes don't really represent the reality. That's something I gave up about, like bitching about over time. It's just like, eh, whatever, who cares at this point.
I used to complain about it all the time. On hardcore, I just log it because there's no reason to actually do the mechanic. Okay, not the worst map RNG so far in the red side, please. Hopefully, I didn't jinx myself. I know it hits harder when you have uh, blue stacks. That's not a part that is counterintuitive. The part that's counterintuitive is that you are supposed to be hiding on the side that gives you blue stacks. Because on the other side, the uh, pillars get destroyed. And then, because you have to do that, you will have a bunch of blue stacks and uh, Hitboxes don't correlate to reality, so it will hit you anyways, and you will die. Orb of Storms with Spark. I would definitely not touch Spark. Spark is nowadays, uh, it's a little worse than it used to be. That's an understatement of the century. It just has no proud speed. No, do I? I have a canyon and I have a. Oh. I have banned VPX! Uh, uh, fuck off, man. Mm. How? How? Pain. We lost. He lost. The worst part is I like realized as I was saying it, man. It wasn't even like after. Why didn't I just realize two seconds earlier? Wait, he just dodged the flame blast. We have like no recovery. I wish I had some regen. There's no way to convert unmakings into regrets, right? It only goes the other way. I think that's true.
Oh my god, really? They were both so low, man. And this this DGen is gonna be the end of me. Okay. Keep dropping maps. I need to not spawn Bitter in, in here. Okay. Sometimes you just print maps, man. Except it's a Bramble Valley. I don't even hate that map, except the boss, obviously. Dude, why am I taking so much damage today? I guess I have only 3.5k life. I see injury. I didn't even die there. Rest check. I'm sure I'm cap. I think it would be looking very differently if I wasn't rest capped. Eight to one now. That's a five flank. Hmm. I don't feel like it actually helps me much though. Because I'm already so low on... Okay, I dropped like 5 million maps in that one map. Oh, I inspect this. No wonder it suddenly started feeling so much worse. Oh, that makes so much more sense. It's because I was inspecting the, the fire nodes. I thought I inspected a different master there. I don't know why I didn't just look out. 
Ah, just... Whatever. And no blast charges there. That was such a lame rip. Such an unnecessary one. Fourteens? Oh, why not? Why not sixteen? South is a better layout than this. That's definitely not true. South is just a square. Yeah, you wanna live there? It's just a square, dude. South is basically city square, right? It's the same layout. True. Our ignite resistance, we skipped up. We definitely skipped that. I feel like I don't need to kill the mob. No, I, I. Do I need to kill the mob boss? We'll kill it in the next map if I don't drop a tier 16. That one's gonna take forever. Sixteen? No, I keep getting fourteens. I'm gonna venture the temples and see what I can get from them. The last laser we got was the Horticrafting Station. I don't mind this map. This map's actually okay. Come on, drop me a 16, please. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, it probably does free. Obliteration's really nice. Valkar Valkyries is really nice. Fog would be okay. Fog would be kind of hard to fit at this point of the run, but... Maybe, maybe Angles. I don't know if Angles is even good, because even with Angles, I feel like Valflame Blast doesn't really get EO. I'm not even close to dying, don't worry about it. Not having any recovery sucks. I hate Blood Rage. I really do. I wish I didn't need to run Blood Rage on these speedruns. It makes the gameplay so much more miserable. And so much less fun. That did not happen. Single target damage definitely a little low now. Yeah, I have that master. But it's barely enough to counteract Blood Rage. I mean, I'm just saying, playing with Blood Rage feels like ass. That's okay, some people like us, but... Time for Shrek. Time for Shrek. Shrek again. I probably should change some address. I'm just gonna save my ball flame blast. It's way too early. What? Okay, that's... Listen, are, are you gonna call aim labs on that one or is this bullshit? That was such an outplay though. I can't believe he outplayed me like that. Dude, I hate having no recovery. I hate Elementalist. Like, it's so bad when your build sucks on Elementalist. It's just like, oh, pain. This boss? It's not this boss, this boss is fine. It's everything about this fucking belt. Not 
Pentium for the Life Flask. Yeah, that kind of sucks. He's not gonna die, is he? This game sucks. He's decent. One. I can send say one thing safely though. DD definitely feels better than this build. I don't know what pack is smoking. I think I had more fun last time playing without Valve Flame Blast and just being like full on walk. I don't know, Val DD is such a better button than Val Flame Blast. Hey, Pack is just allergic to meta. I don't think you can say that about someone who has been playing over a hundred characters of uh, Chain DD Necromancer. Like, I feel like that's not something you can say. I like Ignite more. The only thing Chain DD has more is single target on targets that like don't really fight back. Or if you are actually good at casting. I did not drop a map in here. Am I actually full clearing this to try to find a map? That's pain, man. Where is my map? Who ate my map, man? This guy? No? He lost. No, it wouldn't be an incursion. No, incursions mobs are not even spawned, so I don't think they can eat the map. I mean, I might be wrong, but... It just bugs sometimes. Yeah, I think that's what happens, I agree. I think it just sometimes bugs. T 
Tier 14 again. Why can't you just roll 16, man? How is the run going? It's like okay. Nothing special, nothing awful. I mean, I do wish I was DD the entire time, but otherwise it's going okay. Actually, not the entire time, just like the last hour or so. Dude, I need life last charges. I love it. Uh, I guess I go second curse. No, actually I have on this region. I have on that region, I don't care. I'm losing my mind over here, so... An exalted orb. Never arrogance vitality. I'm already low on sockets. It's not really an option. Definitely not gonna play this at league start. Eh. I mean, if you feel like clearing tier 15 six hours in is bad, then that's up to you. Like, people are so dumb when it comes to ignoring context of these runs. I don't know. You gave my pride a bloody nose. Now the green is in the I'm dead. I need fasks before I engage that. I hit only the other guy. That was a mistake. I should have focused on Tora. I was trying to hit them both, and that was not the play. She dead. In a second. Oh man! And flicker strike. Like we have to kill them up boss here. No. Not happy about that. Can you go faster? What is wrong with this game, man? I was just frozen, man. I think my flask ran out.
Go up a tier 16. It's not a 16, man. That is not a 16. Four deaths already? Oh god. He's gonna run away, that's fine. Yeah, I need to stop using Wild Flame Blast on the first one because then the other ones just run away. Ashling Riker, Janus, um... That in hardcore, well, we can either go again or just complain about it. It is what it is. Man, I never have flasks. Now I understand why every time I open back stream he has no flasks. I just which is bad. Just use Mage Blood. I mean, I think Immortal Flash would literally fix all my issues. I just can't fix the resist. But it, I think it would fix a lot because it gives armor too. It's just the run is too, too short to fit that in. I mean, it might not be short if I die a few times. Next CD. Tier 13, that's a minus one. I had such a nice streak and then it all went downhill. Somehow. I have one more 15. But after that, I'm kind of out of maps. I'm not out of maps. But, uh, I have one more 14 too. Yeah, it's not that bad. I just need a one duplicated 16 and we good. That's all I need. That's all I need. Oh my, those goats. 
Oh my god, this is a horror game now. Ghosts are too strong, man. Doesn't help that I got pretty bad maps opened. So every time I run a 15, I have to kill a boss that takes forever. Actually, I don't think it's worth killing Brambavala even if I don't drop the map. It just takes too long. It's better to just put in 14 or whatever. This is what the average of core player is experiencing. I don't think that's true. I really don't think that's true nowadays. Like maybe on day one. Because people push hard harder than they should, but Oh! 116 at least, nice. Yeah, but people have like 20 devs by the time they kill Acton Kitava. Okay. <laughs> Some people do. Made fast charges. I should have dodged that. I don't know why I think that. Okay, that one I feel like I couldn't have dodged because I was moving. No recovery. I don't want to lose XP. What? I have no idea what even killed me there. I just loaded in and died. I mean, it probably was a Haku slam because I heard Haku, but... I wonder what causes the fact that DD doesn't die this much. Because, like, it's kind of not that different on, in terms of skill tree. I don't even know if it's that different damage wise. I think it's like literally just how the skills play is different.
Okay, we leveled. That's nice. Okrenštajny, ja. Also, do you think Val DD just does more damage than Val Flame Blast? But like the single target on Vamp Flame Blast doesn't even feel bad. That's the weird part. If anything, it actually feels pretty good. Can I buy? I can. Yes. This is such a awful recipe, man. I hate the fact that I did it, but whatever. Easier exposure. I mean, you just press wave of conviction. It's not that bad. It's not ideal, but it's not that bad. I don't like that aura, but it's just I, I can't put a recoloring, so I'm just gonna use hatred. Nah, not for unmakings, thankfully. I need to say in, in Miller range so he stops charging around. Charge. I wonder if my flame blast actually fell off. I feel like it does. Turn there be ball face soon. Guess the hater doesn't do anything for the flame blast. I think haste is probably just better.
Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even charge my Valve Flame Blast. Wait, why are we meowing in the middle of exotic ball face? And why did I just think that ball? I wouldn't be fair. I think I will wait. Yeah. I almost, I almost popped it early again. I don't think it fell off yet. Still taking damage, so it's probably still on him. I wish I had Kalink. Press that hit me, I thought I was out of range. Charge me. <laughs> really? That item? Okay. Tier 15. Wallet, do I have a Valor? <laughs> Upside. You're too fast, it's element effect. I picked up non damaging element or whatever. I don't need to pull clear this. I'm just gonna put the residence in. So I can do the other boss.
I don't know. I should have to... Uh, there's not that much else you can do differently, honestly. Without sacrificing like a lot of speed. Could have clicked Aura Notes. That is something I could have done. I kinda like two, two Light Flasks more than a Quartz Flask, is that weird? I have like decent regen honestly, it's just running blood rage that fucks me. It's not like a lot of regen, but I have some. But a blood rage messes it up. But I feel like you have to play blood rage. In speedruns. I mean I guess technically you have to is a strong word, you don't have to, but you know what I mean. Okay, boss time. Uh, you go there, there. I'm very low on levels. Until my progression's decent. Especially mark what's if you want the entire runs. They're all there. I am just gonna send the flame blast. I feel like otherwise I get zero damage in. Inescapable doom.
This boss is like a lot more reasonable than Exarch. Because you always have enough. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm playing it better. And I used my Ball Flame Blast to actually get next Flame Blasts. My cruelty is really low. I don't know if the flame blast snapshots with the high cruelty or not. It probably does, because I think everything snapshots for ignite from your buffs, so it should. Basically, your buff snapshot and enemies debuffs don't is how PoE works most of the time, if not always. Again, one extra phase because for good calling, that sucks. Skelly shoot. I think I lost my Valve Flame Blast there. Yeah, I definitely did. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, dude, what is this? 73-4, okay, it's gone. It is gone. Um, I'm gonna start running patrol missions soon. I mean, I'm not... The thing is, I'm not rushing just for either Exarch. I'm also doing level 90. Like, I could have went for the bosses earlier if I didn't care about XP. But it still sucks compared to Bone Zone. Why is Bone Zone so OP, man? I shouldn't have done the Bone Zone run. Now I compare everything to Bone Zone. Why is Mela so broken in this game? I don't get it. How much faster is Bone Jitter? Uh, I don't remember the actual times. The difference is not that big. I'm kind of memeing it up a little bit. I mean, compared to this build, it's faster by quite a bit, but compared to the other builds, it's faster by like half an hour max. I don't think I have a single run above uh, eight hours. Hopefully, this one is not going to be it either. For Ubers it sucks. Yeah, but no one really cares about Ubers, let's be real. Uh, let's unspec this. And let's start running, uh, or let's start with the white maps actually. I don't know how many missions I have. I have five white maps missions. Okay. Elegant 
Uh, show, save house, run. What save house is this? 83, okay, nice. Because you're talking as if Karn dies to Ubers all the time. He died to Ubers like what? Twice? His ribs are just too memorable. So it makes you think he died more. He doesn't even go into Ubers. I mean, he killed the Ubers in hardcore, have you? If not, then don't talk shit. What is the difference between Hexboss Sabo and Occultist? I haven't even seen Hexboss Occultist, I have no idea how that build even looks. Is that just... Huh? Actually, I have not seen that at all. I wasted a flame blast, it's over. Trespassing is a crime. I don't know, the only hex pass that should be played is Trickster, and we all know that. Let's be real. Best version. Oh, I'm just so low on uh... so low on points. I guess we start clicking there. Six forty two. Yeah, I still need to get six levels though. And this is still gonna be fine, speed wise. It's gonna be in line with the other stuff. Not everything can be SOP as Mela. That's okay. I don't see the reason to play Sabo even early over Trickster, I just don't. I'm just thrashing maps to stay in June missions, nothing else. I don't know, Sabo's just less damage, less throw speed. It does kinda have slightly more defense early, I will give it that, but like, eh. Endgame Trickster defense is better anyways. So that one balances itself real fast. Or mines, yeah. Saboteur is not a trap or mine ascendancy, man. It fucking blows. I mean, it's okay for some traps that scale with... Um, it's okay for traps that scale with AoE, basically. I think that's the only place where Sabo actually shines. Need more than to beat us, 
Because the AoE is actually impactful. Do I have more more white missions? I have two more. I struggle with Hollowness run one. Oh, never. I don't think that goes good at all. It just feels so clunky to use. I tried a bit. Say the exact opposite of what you want from a trap. Like the trap triggers and it doesn't hit the mobs that triggered that trigger the trap. Stop, please! I feel violated. I was kind of lucky level up also the flash charges. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Eighty-five, I think. I think we can do like two more. And then we have to go back to high maps. I think Pastor on it some guy to do. I don't know, I'm a big Drakster believer. You just get so much more draw speed, it's just like insane. Yeah, especially early on, Drakster just feels so much faster. What? Between Wave of Conviction and Val Flame Blast, which clear do you like the most? Between a skill that has a cooldown or Val skill cost, which is basically cooldown, and a skill that you can spam, which one do you prefer to use for clearing? Bastion is just more single target. You can use high impact though. Doesn't matter. Oh, sorry, I missed that message. <laughs> I mean, that message is equally dumb though. DD is like 10 times better than Valflame Blast. My bad, sorry. I can't read. Cannot read. I mean, DD just feels better to press than Valve Flame Blast does. And Day of Conviction is like actually kind of okay. It just doesn't deal damage. Oh, yeah, that's not true. It does some damage, but it doesn't deal enough damage to be as good as DD. Two button dice of cringe. Eh. So then average DD build probably presses fewer buttons per map than in every build you play. 
But like, if you want to die so cringe DD, then go ahead. It's just like, people don't understand this game. Like you press two buttons and the entire screen explodes and then gets ignite for left. Like, yeah, it's... I don't know, man. People are wild with this two button meme. It's actually like the worst meme, honestly. gonna be bad. Unless maybe it's fine. Okay, we made it. Minion zero buttons. Did average minion build presses like more buttons than DD. Fuck, I got I don't know why I couldn't move. Oh, it's because I don't have Quartz Flask. It actually got me killed there. Mm. I don't know, man. Uh, they're both bad. No Quartz, no. It doesn't matter. It's bad either way. It's probably the TS Brain Rod. Dude, every TS player uses like fucking ballistas on the first three days of the league anyways. So how, how are those people gonna talk shit? It's fucking totem build that just uses a skill to clear. Let's not pretend it's anything else. That's literally what every bow build is. Not anymore. If you don't use it, then your build sucks. So either you either you just, you know, self snatched or... You just don't understand that totems are like four times more damage than mana forged. Mana forged? Yeah, I mean, you guys just don't understand bow builds. <laughs> Again. I'm telling you, most bow league starters are just ballistas bolts, okay? That's okay, just be honest about it. Obviously, you don't have to play ballistas later once your build gets decent. But if you are not using ballistas early, you are actually trolling. Like, memes aside for a second, if you are a bow enjoyer and you don't use ballistas early, you really should start. It's like night and day difference in single target. Like, I guess if you sit at like tier 2 maps and farm legion, it doesn't matter. But if you are actually like progressing your atlas, it's a big deal. So I guess it depends on what content you're doing, to be fair. Isn't Fire Trap Frostblink literally a two button build? So how how can you talk shit about DD?
Oh, this side that was slow tier. Hmm. I didn't notice that. Oh my god, I think that's straight up. Man, I had 200 life. I had to look out. Okay, we have Katarina ready. Oh man, what's the dev set? Six? Okay, that's not that bad. Let's keep it under 10. If it's under 10, it's like acceptable. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but it's like acceptable. Let's try to keep it there. I'm not falling for a tank. There's no way I get things in white maps, man. Let's be real. I don't think this filter even thinks anything except divines. Like it doesn't even think exalts, annuls, nothing, so... I'm immune. Do, 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 do. Don't try anything stupid now. Uh, did you you are not as dumb as you think. My damage is quick. Oh, well. Okay, I need to find a certain dip. I feel like Ignite DD is not even effort in South Corona Slayer. I don't know. Ignite probably is just so strong. But it doesn't really matter. Like you legit get to a point where you are pressing two buttons per screen. That guy's gonna run away. I should not have clicked that. It's fine. It's kind of fine. Not really. Poison is a lot better than hit base DD for bossing. Like, it's not even close. It's way more damage, it's way safer. But, uh. And it's easier to get, like, suppression, honestly. But I guess see, you will have suppression regardless. That guy's not going into Katarina, surely not.
It's kind of insane how little damage you do when Valflame Blast is not up. Alright, I completely forgot about Convergence. I probably should have paid attention to that on Exarc and uh, Eater. Completely forgot that was a thing. Mage Blood Brain Rod is gonna be real, just get a Mage Blood in 3.24. It's fine. There's still gonna be Mage Bloods. They're gonna be more expensive, but they're still gonna be. Still gonna be there. I'm gonna unspec a uh, Wandering again. It will just be easy. I mean, people will just go back to a map in Crimson now. I mean, that's at least my expectation. I shouldn't have been blasted death. Nerf to utility plus versus Ubers? That's not even true. I mean, depends on the build. I mean, it's nerf against Shaper. And by extension, Uber Elder. Can Pachinos drop already? No. What fire pen on Exarc? There is no fire pen on Exarch. Strong and reasonable. I like you, Exarch. I mean, there's the debuff, but that's not pen. And it, it's only 10%, so it's pretty much the same as it was. There's a small change. Unless I'm unaware of something. Which is possible, but I'm pretty sure there's no pen on Exarc. And every time I ask where is pen on Exarc, no one ever has an answer. So I'm just gonna assume I'm right. Dark balls of power pen? I don't think they do. If they did, people wouldn't be stacking fire as on Exarch. So there would be no point. See, it's like people like 
make up problems and then they complain about them. Literally what happens half the time. Sometimes it's justifiable, but half the time people just make up their own problems. I think the one boss that is gonna be very difficult though, unironically, is gonna be Ubrelder. Like you're just gonna get Shaper Bolt on Ubrelder and just get gonna get blasted. That is the one part that's actually gonna be very hard unless you go like damage shift. No, Supress never worked on boss, it was never a spell. Fire Ignite Resistant, really? Why do you exist? I'm gonna look out to be safe. Getting DM'd. Listen, unless they are going too far with the insults, I don't care. That's between you guys. Someone's going too far. Yeah, maybe screenshot it. <laughs> why did I think that the Corel? I even saw it last second. I don't know why I even moved. And if they are not going too far. Don't care. Focus shock ring. Or is that fake? You can scale it. Still a non damaging element. The only thing you cannot scale with shock effect is Kitter Boss, as far as I know. Because it's not your shock. I think the only reason you cannot scale it is because it's not your shock. Otherwise, you would be able to as well. Like, I think, like, all the, like, the shock grounds and shock effects, you can scale like, all of that, I'm pretty sure. Probably not playing SSLF next week, that's for sure. At least based on the information we have so far. The better all changes are cringe. Unless somehow the build is like 100% drop rate. But even then, the ones are going to be a huge issue even with that. Since every metacraft is going to be so much more expensive. Slowly turning SSF into Ruplas. Good. It's a uh, community building, right? If it... Fucking poison. If everyone plays Trade League, that means Trade League is more alive. That means more people will keep playing. Just go to Sanctum for Divines. Yeah, but you need more Divines with... Velt exalts that you needed with Velt Chaos. I 
I got stunned out of my Val Flame Blast. What is that? How does that happen? Hey, the animation's just not loading, man. Transing. Do you guys listen to what I say or do you just fucking XDD chat just transing them? Like, you realize that you will need double the amount of divines that you need at this league. Even if the Veiled Orb is common, right? Just farm Affliction next league, yeah. Bro. I don't think it will be common, I think it will be like Fractured Orb. It better not be like Fractured Orb, man, what? It better be like a decent drop rate. I don't think it's gonna be common, but it better not be a Fractured Orb. It will probably be a 50%. I wish I shared your optimism. No, they pretty much said that you wouldn't need anything. It's just gonna be kill Katarina. Uber Katarina. Probably will be similar to Conqueror Exalt. I don't even know what that means, honestly. I don't remember what Conqueror Exalt drop rate is. It's probably like 10 10 ish percent, maybe, on average. With decent juice. But the problem is, you cannot juice Katarina. What do you mean, maybe like the Oshabi thing? Oshabi thing is 100% drop rate. Or do you mean like the one that drops from tier 4 beasts? I don't actually know what the drop rate is on that one. I'm not saying it's impossible that we will get Uber Katarina, but I kinda doubt it, but we'll see. I doubt we're gonna get a big Uber like boss expansion right before PoE2 beta, I would be very surprised. This is like the time, like it's like the crunch time. They have to get the PoE2 beta ready to be played by everyone, like... They don't have time to make stuff for PoE1 and Ironicle. It's gonna settle down once uh, PoE2 is like ready to be released, but... Don't snuff my candle just yet. <sighs> Mask with the portal. I think the chance to drop the belt orb is gonna be like 10%. I really do. It's in two separate teams. I mean, kinda, but also no. Like if they if they need more people on one team, they will bring them over. They already said that or like thought about that. Five. I mean, five is possible. I would hope not, but five is. Five is definitely possible, sadly. Why? 
Spiker, Ash Flank. I can't make a reset safe house. It wouldn't be high tier. Next leak, Belt Exalt Diff card. I mean, you don't even know if they let you. And I don't know how many people actually have a, you know, make a diff card ready. You know what they should do? They should make you have to do the entire Katarina fight in MF gear so you have a higher chance to drop the Belt Orb. Let's go. Buff MF. It's time. Man, I just want all the info so we don't have to just speculate and be like doomsayers all the time. But I mean, we, we're never gonna get the drop rate on the orb. Well, we're never gonna get it before the leak starts, I should say. Oh, I like DD way more. This feels like fine and like white and yellow maps, that's about it. It's like good, kinda good, I guess, because you don't need uh, exposure on gloves. Is what makes it okay, but... It's just so much less damage and so much worse playstyle. Oh, I mean regular ignite. DD of chaining is better than this too, but those are like completely different builds. No point. That's like complaining this versus Bone Cheddar. I mean, man, I feel like I stopped running Blood Rage and my gameplay, like my game experience, has improved. And our Fuck Blood Rage. I got stunned. Turn on Blood Rage, die. Confirmed. Cast on damage taken, cold snap. Ah. I guess it wouldn't be the worst, honestly. It's too late to change right now, but. Actually, it might have been better. I was, I literally clicked the TP, dude. Like, actually, you rip again. Ah, pain. I actually don't know if you survived that on a night that was pretty fast after I clicked it. Oh, so annoying, these rips.
Dude. I'm so fucking down with this run, honestly. I didn't even see the attack animation. Like what? <sighs> like what even is that dude? Like what the fuck? I'm at 0% XP. Man. I just hate bad builds, honestly. I don't understand how people play softcore like this willingly ever. Where you just die like every every other map. Like, why? Why would you do that to yourself? How can you have fun like this? I don't understand. It's so painful. I really do wish it wasn't this painful, but... It just is. Dude! Like, I don't understand what is happening to my HP. That's why SC sinks now? You can make good builds in SC. Now you hate it now? I think hating either softcore or hardcore is cringe. I'm gonna be real. It's like, eh. You, you might not, like, you might prefer one over the other, but like, hating on it is just like weird. Hardcore players are the better players? No, not really. I've seen some shit in hardcore trade, man. There is bad and good players in every league. Lead this as a slab. Yeah, I have good news for you, man. If there's anyone who's gonna be in as a slab next week, they're gonna be too depressed to type in general. You don't have to worry about them. They're gonna run their 17th Katarina, not get their Veldorf again, and just like start start depressed posting. I, I would definitely not worry about them.
At least I'll be able to double curve my seven diadems before I get my orb. Yeah. I mean, we will see. Maybe the orb is common, guys. Maybe it is common. It's not, by the way. Spoilers. It's probably not common. He chooses to be optimistic and say 100%. That's not optimism, that's delusion. I think. I don't know. I, I would love to be wrong. I would actually love to be wrong. But I have a bad feeling I'm not in this, this one. I mean, to be fair... I predicted wrong before. Like for example with the Tempest Shield Reward, we expected the spell block numbers to be so much lower than they actually ended up being. So like We'll see. Sometimes GGG surprises us. I'm just gonna put in next map, I don't wanna rerun it. Bokorp is 20%-ish. See, that's what everyone is saying with the cope. It's because they removed Veld Chaos, it's gonna be common. But like, at that point, why didn't they just... Okay, I think the problem is you are assuming they didn't try to nerf crafting. Or maybe the problem is that I'm assuming they did. We'll see. I know, man. I wish subcore trade players finally stopped asking for itemized items, man. Every time it happens, there's, there's a disaster with it. I mean, to be fair, this time around, I don't think anyone expected them to remove Veld Chaos. On top of uh, just... Uh, like, people just thought they would add Veld Exalt. Need two yellow maps. I did my Salva Temples in lose power. They actually didn't, yeah. Yeah, that's what I expected, honestly. Initially, I thought he would just be able to itemize the entire Betrayal Katarina thingy. And then I was like, well, maybe we will just get Veld Exalts. But instead, we lost Veld Chaos. 
I will see. I don't want to be like too emo about it before we actually see everything. But it is a little concerning. Alva isn't really crafting. Yeah, that's kind of true. But it's still like at the item, like itemizing something, right? So like you would expect it to get nerve and that gets possible. Power creep. Oh, I mean, I'm not worried that characters will be weak. I'm just worried that the crafting system is going to be even more annoying to engage with. And it's already one of the more frustrating things sometimes, right? That's what I'm worried about. Like, I'm not worried about character power. I don't think we're going to lack character power. Well, as I said, players might, Lamal. We'll see. But, uh... Probably not even SSF, honestly. It's just gonna feel worse to, like, craft anything. That's my guess. I don't know why I just walked over there. I didn't know they would explode, honestly. Or didn't realize. Oh man, I have 91% XP after dying, like what is this? I have so many deaths now, 11. I wish they could make it so you could upgrade a Weld Chaos to Weld Orb on Ashling Bench. Yeah, or just drop, or just keep Weld Chaos the way it was. And then add Weld Exalts in the way they added, that's also fine, like, I don't know, there's some... This is why I'm assuming it's it's meant as a nerf because there's a lot of easy ways to keep it in the game without changes And I don't think that's what they were trying to do. So that's why I'm like a little negative about it Preemptively It's because I feel like if it wasn't meant as a nerf, there were easier ways to implement it than this I don't know, we'll see at the end of the day, it's we have enough power that we can lose some and our characters are still gonna be fine. Calandra vibes, okay. You can not overreact that hard, my man. And the thing is, right, like, PoE needs nerves. I just feel like that is the wrong way to nerve. Or, like, the wrong thing to nerf, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a bunch of nerves in the patch. We haven't had like any nerves in like four leaks now. Any like major ones. Nerf pitches are fun. I think nerf pitches can be good. It just needs to nerf stuff that makes sense to nerf. And the problem is. That even if it's good for the game, people are still gonna be upset. E like, even if they did the best job ever and nerfed exactly the stuff that needs to get nerfed, people are still gonna get upset. Because people just hate nerfs in general. It doesn't really matter what the nerfs are, honestly. More people to an underutilized area of the game. I don't think Betrayal wasn't used a lot though. I think a lot of people were already farming Betrayal. I mean, I don't mind character power nerfs, I just don't like crafting nerfs. I guess it's kind of character power too, just 
in a frustrating way. We'll see. We'll see. I didn't almost get one shot, you didn't see that. Good hundred HP, yeah, and I will not be too hard on so the lookout is for. Size me got nerfed. I mean, the thing is, like, if you want to play Seismic, you can still play Seismic and it's still fine. Like, it's, like, genuinely fine. The only real problem is that, uh, I think Saboteur sucks. But you can play it on a Pathfinder. Like she'll remove the room. I don't know, I kinda of wish people didn't overreact to nerfs so hard, so GG doesn't need to do all the nerfs at the same time. And then people overreact to the patch, like we have had two times in the past now. It's just like, I wish they could just nerf stuff, like one at a time, every now and then. But I feel like they feel like they cannot do that. Maybe I, may I don't know. It's just people overreact to like any nerf so much nowadays. So then it just piles up all into one patch because they are like, well, it's better to have one negative publicity than four. People reacting. I mean, what, what else are we supposed to do? Like, if GG doesn't want us to react, they could just give us the actual numbers of the changes. And we can only assume based on the past. Like, what do you want people to do? Just not talk about the changes they announced? <laughs> I mean, I feel like that one's on GGG for not giving up, not giving the full info. If they don't want people speculating and like doomsaying, they need to give us the full info, right? And I don't even think I'm as negative as some other people are. Like, at least I'm hoping that the drop rate is gonna be like reasonable, like 20-25%. There's people who think the drop rate is gonna be like 5% or lower. Hundred percent. Default forces is not a gimmick. Default forces is the only way to play ignite.
The entire Ignite archetype is balanced around default forces existing. I mean, even if the drop rate is 100%, I would still say that the crafting got nerfed. Even at 100%, I think the crafting is nerfed. At least for SSF, I'm not sure about trade. E e probably even for trade, honestly. Just because you will need more divines than you did previously. And that's assuming like the best case scenario of 100% drop rate. Obviously the nerf would be way, way, way lower, right? But I still think it would be a nerf. You have become I mean, Harvest is in a good spot now, honestly. I, have experienced enough death. Let's see if you I think. An kill for each I know some people would disagree, but... I think Harvest is still better than any other mechanic in this game. Even after 17 nerves, man. Ah, oh, fine. This run has been bad. Good one. Hmm. It's literally true. GGG bad. Chris Wilson bad. Replace Chris Wilson. I mean, if you think Harvest is now underpowered, I don't really know what to tell you. I guess there's no point in discussing POE with you. Because Harvest is anything but underpowered. See, this is a problem that we as players have. It's that we... In our heads, always compare Harvest to old Harvest, rather than comparing Harvest to the rest of the game. We need pre-nerf Harvest? We don't. It would literally ruin the game. If you don't see how importing items from POB on day one is a bad thing for the video game, then uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to like discuss the game at that point. Like you're literally the type of person who is like nerf equals bad, buff equals good when you feel that way. Like, that's just not the case in a game like PoE. It's just the nerfs and, bu nerfs and buffs that happen need to make sense. I mean, Reforge more likely is still decent, honestly. If you feel like Reforge more likely is unusable, you should give it a try. It's not OP for every single item in the game anymore, but... Still good.
Obviously, it's way worse than the more likely that we used to have, but. It's insane at crafting ES gear, and it's insane at crafting like pure armor gear too. And, and those are like the two main things. And clusters. Yeah, it's insane for clusters as well. And it's pretty good for normal jewels as well. And uh, abyss jewels, like ghastly eyes and stuff. Like, that's a decent amount of uses of one craft. I don't know. It's not good on hybrid armors. That's the one thing. So if you ever try to craft, like, a suppression hybrid armor with it, it sucks. You can still use it on suppression, you just need to use it for suppression on pure evasion gear. Instead of hybrid gear. But you can definitely use it for suppression. Yeah, hybrid is so much worse. I mean, it's because the number you are multiplying is slower on hybrid pieces. I mean, just to say easier numbers, right? Let's say if you do it on pure evasion, your chance to roll... Once I let me finish 90 and then I can talk about it. I don't want to die before, right before. Resave. So, let's say you use it on pure evasion. It multiplies the chance of rolling the, the mod by 10. So, it would go from like 5,000 weight to 50,000 weight. And then you have like 50,000 weight after, out of like, I don't know, 120k or something to actually roll uh, suppression. But if you do it on a pure, uh, sorry, on hybrid base, it multiplies only like the 2.5k or whatever the chance to roll suppression is. And the total number of mods is also higher. So it's worse that way as well. Okay, we're down. Level 90. Uh, this one, this run was pretty painful, honestly. Walk feels a lot worse than I remember it feeling. I don't know. I mean, 12 deaths is like whatever, right? But... It just doesn't have enough damage, and the playstyle is so much worse than DD that... Eh. It's only cool with Oblid. Yeah, Oblid would help, that's true. 